Start the streamers. Is it working then? So uh, tonight, <laughs> what we've got for you is this man. <sighs> This man. <laughs> uh, I am battery exhausted. You are watching me on the internet. You can subscribe. It's free. You don't have to feel like, you know, all funny about it. It's not peer pressure or nothing. You can just do it. Have you not done it? I don't know why you haven't done it. You should do. It's up to you, really. Do what you like, really. It's fine. It's only your thumb. Finger. Whichever one. You get up there with your f head and do it. Tell Google, Google speak and spell. Let me subscribe to Battery Exhausted. Alexa, subscribe me to Battery Exhausted. Don't, don't literally. Um, you're watching. <laughs> Just let me adjust the microphone. You're watching. You're watching. <laughs> so that was for Eddie. That was for. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to watch Alan because I did. What he's saying about Madly I'm a Can and stuff, I don't, that's not really the, I'm hoping we're going to avoid a lot of that. But he goes on a bit of a one about himself at the end. He gets a bit funny about stuff. So we're going to watch that. <laughs> We've jumped on for a late night. I wasn't really thinking of doing a not watch. There wasn't really much to do. I wasn't really thinking of doing a not watch. I wasn't really thinking of doing it. But we jumped on for a late night. He's done one. We've done one. That's how it's gone. We're going to do it now. We'll talk Alan. We'll watch Alan. We'll see what Alan's got to say. Uh, you can give me tippies <laughs> by following this link in chat. Or super chats or memberships. There's lots of members content on this channel at the moment. Lots of cheeky, interesting, kind of dark uh, members content on this channel. So you can give me tippies. You can have your fun. You can have your say. It comes up on the screen. You can have your say. Uh, Alan's going to do his thing. And really, we usually have a chip you know we have like a nutter sandwich we have a bit of this a bit of that a bit of the other today we're just going to see this one see how it goes we might try and fit some more stuff in depending on time but it's a late night one for most of the uk i'm starting off at nearly 11 o'clock so i might catch the pub kicking out crowd so it might be extra rowdy you never know <laughs> uh, but since we didn't start early it's it's more likely it's going to be like us it's just just us it's just us and i've already started by shouting Man the, arm, man the armchairs! Man the armchairs! Take out the cannons! <laughs> Got all the chocolate soy milk I can eat. Let's go. Oh, I will be... Um, thank you for the gifted memberships, Red Fan. Thank you. High heels on my tippies. Do say in Gabbana dust on my tippies. Um... I want to listen to the Earthworm Jim soundtrack in the background, but but we'll see how loud Alan is first, because we've got this problem, haven't we, Alan, with the microphone? But today he's not actually where you think he is. Ooh, so we'll, t we'll t see that we'll do the sound balance as we go. He's not actually where you think he is. He looks like he's on his normal green screen, but we have had a little look before we started, and we think he's taken his laptop somewhere. He may be off to play poker somewhere, which is a surprise considering his financial situation. But whatever, <laughs> I'm beyond giving a f flying fairy's felt felcher. Alan, Hello. can you see me? Yes, I suppose you can. How Wait. loud is he? It's raining again. <gasps> I can't Lisa sent to these. They're the shoes he likes. Let's have it, Scotty Woo Wow XX. Woo! <laughs> Super Chuffer 06 hugs. Shush, the neighbours are all in bed. The neighbours are all in bed. So, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for the six hugs. Thank you very much for the tippies. High heels on my tippies. Do say in Gabbana dust on my tippies. Tap. And that's as much of the song as I recorded. I was going to do some new buttons for today. I've got one new button, but nobody will know who the new button is. But I have got one new button. So uh, let me introduce you to my new button. A battery exhausted. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about or who you're talking to. That's the problem. If anyone guesses that. Rumble. 
Wumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble in the jungle. He is quite loud, isn't he? He's quite loud. I haven't got the uh, compressor on yet, so we can have background music. Fucking love it. And that's because his microphone's set up on a laptop, just a random laptop, right? His microphone set up on a random laptop is better, <laughs> unbelievably, but it is, is better than whatever he's got set up at his house with that microphone behind him and all that nonsense. So um, we'll, do, we'll do Earthworm Jim. It is relaxing music, but it is cool. It's got electric guitar. Electric guitar and Alan. Are you there? Are you there? Major Tom. Sure. Who's going to be first to see the armchair detective? Who's going to be first to see the armchair detective? It sounds like he's hiding in the chuffing bushes. Hello? Anybody see me? Yeah, we can see you. It takes a while to uh, crank up this program. Doesn't no, it doesn't. Anybody see me? Ah, still wait. All right. Should we clear this up once and for all? It happens with me, my stream, everyone's stream. You press go live, and from that second, you are live. So there's about a 10 to 40, one minute, depending on how your delay is, second delay between that live experience hitting the airwaves and the people at home seeing it. There's a slight delay on the chat, so we'll do it now. We'll do it now. This is how to do it. Ready in chat? You're going to write, you're going to type. Oh, big ups. I've had a tippy. Big ups, Leslie. Thank you for the tippies. And I've had more gifted fan, gifted subs from Red Fan. Okay, all right. So uh, thank you so much for that uh, super uh, trooper. Okay, all right. So I'm going to press this button in a minute and then say go. When I press go, you write, um, and I don't know what we're going to write. What we're going to write? Like... Right, Alan, right, Alan something, Alan something in chat. And that'll give you a, well, you'll know how long then the time on the delay is. I'll count it. Are you ready? I'll press this button. I can say whatever the fuck I want and you like it or you shut the fuck up. Go, right, Alan something now. Alan something now in chat. Right, Alan something, anything. Just Alan something in chat now. And we'll time it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see? Is there a buzzing sound? It might be the microphone. Because I just banged it around. Nickham said tippies. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. It buzzed a bit then. Big ups. Thank you, Nick, for the tippies. Thank you. Hopefully the sound is working. I mean, I, my computer seemed... I did an update on the computer and it seems to be chugging a bit, but... Talk to you the battery boy. <laughs> so now you've written an answer. It's, it's a delay. They don't write it immediately as I say it, because there's a delay, isn't it? I say it, time happens, they see it, Alan. So that's the same with you. So the minute you press live, you might as well say, Hi, I'm Alan, the armchair detective. It's nice to see you. Tonight in chat, we're going to be talking about this case. We're going to be doing this. Like you, you introduced, I'm giving free tips now to Alan. It's way too late. For Alan, it's way too late. He can, it's too, it's way too late. It might have been the music. The music's changed to a different track now, so see if it continues. Um, it's way too late for Alan to fix this, but in the sort of 10 to 30 seconds that it takes for them to catch up, or his other problem is he hasn't got that many people there, so he's hoping they've turned up full stop. But even if they haven't turned up, this is going to be recorded and saved as a video, and people are going to watch it later. So imagine you're making a live recording of a video. From the minute the camera is on, you are recording. Hi, it's me, Alan. I'm the armchair detective. In tonight's show, we're going to do excellent. The reason you say that bit is so they know what's coming up. And then you can fill a little bit of time if you want, but imagine you're talking to them, Alan, even if they're not there. You are now at this bitter end of streaming where there aren't actually that many people there big ups kelly when we all get started we all start off with not many people there um well, some of us do i did big ups kelly thank you for the 199 good luck with your channel son um but you have to imagine that there are people there talk in chat that you're talking to because then it's recorded as a video and people will watch it later like this whole nonsense of who's going to be there to see hello to the armchair detective this ruins the start of all of your videos alan all of them 
all of them and what most people will do when they find your content big ups red fan for the five gifted memberships i'm running out of buttons uh, we're close from ikea all you chuffers can watch that members content now AD, 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 AD. and there's a big second part to the eddie drama uh, in that members content which got a bit weird so i decided to put it as members uh, so, Alan, the best tip I could give you here, and it's way too late for you, but the best tip I could give you is the first minute of your content is really important because people watch it and decide if they want to watch the rest of it. So with your content, majority of people on Womble are going to watch it and for about 10 seconds, they're going to then decide to not watch it. And if they can put up with 20 seconds, then they're going to decide to not watch it. We're already at a minute. Who's going to watch this? You're putting them off. You need to fill the time at the start before people arrive with interesting words that are engaging that can, and then you can start on the main bit of content when people arrive, yes, okay. Or you could just go into it and then when people arrive, if they're a little bit late, they can catch up. But you could just go into it. This nonsense at the start, it's your own, it's because the reason he does it, and I, I've picked it out now once and for all, I don't want to have to keep seeing it now, Alan. <laughs> Learn right but the reason he does it is because it's his social club he's not really concerned with the show and what he's going to be doing and the content and how to make content what it is is for a minute there no one's turned up to talk to him in his chat so he's not going to start until they're there where's my social club <laughs> where's my friend to talk to <laughs> no, it's always anaphylaxis isn't it it's always anaphylaxis not many other people now, though. So more and more as things go on, Alan, at your end of the wedge, there will be fewer and fewer people there. So you are going to have to get used to the idea that you're going to just start talking. Sometimes, and this goes for loads of us who start off small streamer, it might be to no one. But don't say, oh, there's no one here. I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'll sit here and wait. Just do it as if there are people there. <laughs> because Meg, thank you very much for the 14.99 Australian. Maybe tonight's a good time. Maybe it's a good time to pick up the Australian audience. Look, remember when he started on Rumble and he did an hour in silence and he didn't know. <laughs> there is no child porn on the internet. I hate to warn you that. There is no child porn on the internet. I checked. I know it's childish. Yeah, he, he's not really got it going on, has he? He's not really got it going on, but a uh, simple thing this is. This is a simple thing. Just start your show when you press like, go live. Just start like what? Um, but to be honest, I would prefer it, Alan. If you want to wait for the room to fill up, here's the way to do it. Top tip from Scott. You've got, I know you love learning from Scott. You love it, right? Top tip from Scott is prepare a little bit about your day. We like listening to the bit about your human person. That's what makes the show. Okay, you've got all the facts about crime. Everyone's got facts about stuff. The personality is what comes through on YouTube. You know it, I know it. You're not on YouTube anymore, but Rumble counts. Give us some personality. What did you watch on telly? What's been going well for you? What are you cross about? Maybe something out the news. Probably lay off that because it gets political, but... Uh, what's your favourite film over the last few days? Have you seen a little bit of personality? the social club bit, as they filter in, they will start to chime in and talk about it. You will then know the room is filled up, but prepare a little bit. Imagine for about 30 seconds to a minute, like it normally is, maybe two, maybe three, maybe five, you're going to have to speak and there might not be anyone there. And then you're going to go into your show. Yeah. Imagine that, right? That is what I, I think would really, and to me, I'd like that to extend by 15, 20, 30 minutes. I don't want to see your true crime rubbish. I think you're rubbish at it. But when you talk about your favourite stuff, I really enjoy it. So that's where I want you to go with it. Torchy, Torchy. Uh, light on. Yeah, Torchy, look. I, God, I remember Torchy when I was a little tiny boy. I used to love Torchy. Torchy the battery boy. Anybody see me yet? I've got my best, best sweets. You've got your best sweets? <laughs> this is close. This is what I was saying. Do this. Do more of it then. I shouldn't rip too hard because, but you can't see them because the way you've got your green screen technology going on. What are your best sweets? Can anyone guess what Alan's best sweets are? In chat, we're going to have to have it. What's Alan's best sweets? Anyone? Anyone? What's, your, what's Alan's best sweets? What's his best sweets? 
You can just see a little bit of it. I don't know what it is. It says SH and something. What's his best sweets? Are we talking about sherbet lemons? Sherbet bonbons? What are Alan's best sweets? Doggy treats. See that delay, that delay. And it might be because you chuffers are a bit slow on the old sweets. Children, children. <laughs> sports mix. What sports mix? Lollipops, lemon sherbet. So I'm thinking it might be lemon sherbets, but SH. Sherbet, sh could it be sherbet lemons? Kinder Choco, shite, shite stop. I've, I've never heard of a shite stopper. Dew drops. Tiny tots. Is that a, is that a sweet? Tinty tots. Isn't there a sweet though? Jelly tots. Jelly tots. Jelly tots. I'm going for jelly tots. Bonbons. Jelly babies, says Grumpy Grannis. Jelly babies. Anything to entice children with. <laughs> Halle Blue, Bully's Butterscotch. The Chocolate Eggs, Cat's Berry. Sherbet Lemons, just like him. Humbugs. Humbugs. This is starting off with, this is starting off a good conversation in chat. Alan's favourite sweets. And also, you, if you want, you could say what your favourite sweets are as well. It's coming up to, uh, it's coming up to the Easter special. This year, we'll try not to offend people who love Jesus. Because I did have a couple of people who said my Easter special last year offended their love of... I wasn't doing Jesus. I was doing that nutter who dresses up in the and the Ministry of Dreams. I, and I might have said, for Jesus' death, we'll celebrate with chocolate. But it's a joke about the fact that these days people celebrate with chocolate eggs. And actually, Easter's about his resurrection from being crucified and resurrected, actually. So actually, I was pro-Jesus, but they got their egg on. So I try and stay away from Jesus and just do a special that's about sweets. <laughs> Start the stream, miss. All right. Why have you got your special favourite sweets, Alan? People think you might have gone to play poker. I think you might have gone into hospital. Why have you got your special favourite sweets? Or maybe he's got those because he's been on the plane. Or in the car for a long journey. Special favourite sweets, though. Interesting. We're away. Okay. We're away. Okay. One minute twenty. We only okay, got a little so bit about. The, he he realised he might have to fill some time, so he grabbed the sweets, which were the first thing to hand. This is the thing, Alan. A little bit of planning and preparation. A little bit of planning and preparation. Alan's thought of the day. Something at the start. Bit of personality. Bit of vavavoom. Bit of yourself. Schmooze up your ladies. You know they like that. Look, they like this. Tell me in chat, do my ladies like this? <laughs> Tell me in chat. <laughs> do you like my new hoodies? Are you impressed with the new hoodies? Look at that. And I'm wearing the joggers as well. The green joggers that we talked about. I've got the heating on, not like Luke. I've got the heating on. I haven't really got the heating on. Midget gems. <laughs> I've not been on this week because I'm suffering a bit of a depression. A little... Ooh. Is it because Bin Bin died? A little depression. <laughs> or is it you've been away playing? You seem to be away somewhere. And you're laughing about you saying you suffered depression. So actually, I think that's a lie. I've caught you in a lie. You don't. You're not suffering depression because you're laughing about it. Look with a big smile. That's classic, Alan. I should change the thumbnail to that. That's classic, Alan. Cheeky lie. Cheeky lie. Things have happened this week that have, that have affected me in different ways. Have they? Do you mean Bam Bam's death? Um, in fact, I'm thinking of doing a little show after this one. If you're still around, I might do a little show on on about passing of someone. Is he going to do a Bam Bam show on Patreon? He's going to monetize the Bam Bam eulogy after this show. But I don't want to talk about it right here. But why don't you want uh, to talk about it? It is Bam Bam. Like there was some com conversation about Alan goes up to Nottingham. Alexandria, I'm not doxing her now, she's dead, yeah, but like she used to live in that area of the world, let's just say that. And like Alan, there was some, com I mean, I shouldn't, maybe I'm going too close to the bone there, but um, Alan uh, used to go up and play poker, and there was some, some um, rumor that he might have even, you know, known her a bit closer than some people think. 
But I think it's just the narcissist, when faced with someone else's mortality, is reflective of their own. That's more likely. You know, YouTube is very toxic. And they know not what they do. These old ladies that are sat there with... They know not what they do is what Jesus said when he was crucified. They know not what they do. You now watching me. They have no idea how they can affect people. They have no idea. At all. What do you tell them then? What they do. They know not what they do. They think it's okay to dehumanize. I'm dressed as armadillo today. Me. And mock me. And put me in a bad light. Until they're dying breath. And it is until they die in breath. Are you talking about Bin Bin? And it's very sad. But they... You're having a pop. I was taught to not speak ill of the dead. We were discussing this over on Twitch earlier. The correct thing, in my opinion, socially, when someone dies, even if they're like, okay, if they're a really big, bad chuffer, we say, you know, if it's Hitler, you're allowed to throw their body in the air and go, well, hey! But if it's not Hitler, if it's just someone who was on the internet saying rude and mean things and sometimes calling people's work or doxing them a bit, then it... They might have taken it a bit far, but when they die, it's the right thing to do, in my opinion, is just to try and find the positive aspects of their character that even if you were in contention with them, say something like they were not stubborn, but, you know, they always stuck to their guns. They, they, they were loyal to their friends or something, you know, and say something kind and nice. And then if you can't say that, say nothing, leave it a few weeks. And then later on, you can start talking. I get it. You know, people are going to talk. But in the immediate wake of someone's death, you're taught, in my opinion, socially, to not say anything negative or mean, not speak ill of the dead, because it's unbecoming, uncouth, and also their family are going to hear it maybe and be upset. It's just not the time or the place. So I've been looking at some of those Kramer channels recently. Um, I've been looking at a couple of them, and they've been quite... One of them was quite mean about being, being like saying, well, you know, she's fucking dead and now, but she wasn't very nice when she was fucking alive, was she? And like, you know, fucking hell calm down like have a bit of decorum let's have some parliamentary procedure but of course i wasn't too close to any of that i did one episode about her when she talked about me and i've changed the name of that now to be a bit more delicate because i did call it dancing on bin bin's grave <laughs> but now i've called it bin bin banned because she got banned off youtube but i uh, like alan's gonna go this way so that's interesting <laughs> i didn't expect anything less i suppose taught you the battery boy you have to remember that i'm Who's Bam Bam? Right, now's not the time, really, but uh, she was a lady that was in the true crime crime world. I suppose now is the time. She was in the true crime crime world insofar as the Chris Watts case five years ago, yeah? Loads of people were talking about it. Alan was one of them. Then Alan did a load of lies on the internet. So loads of people, you know this story, a load of people got going talking about Alan. He's lying. He's telling lies. Bin Bin was in that crowd of crama drama, talking about people, having opinions and um, taking sides. And then there was the Frank Rusick crowdfund frankie Rusick crowdfund some people wanted their money back from that crowdfund you know alan's always going on about it she was one of those so in that true crime crime world all of that stuff the Rusicks, the um the the watts the, those conversations and her trademark was doing six to eight hour lives of absolute constant vitriol oh yeah i'm gonna come around your fucking house and come and fucking tear your fucking eyes out and i'm gonna fucking tear off your head and i'm gonna replace it with a head made of a fucking dartboard and on that dartboard i'm gonna put a picture of a fucking pedo which is you because you're a fucking pedo and i'm gonna tear the eyes out of the fucking picture so you don't have any eyes on your fucking picture like you know really going at it um, about all sorts of different people Lots of people copped it. When I came on the scene talking about stuff, I copped it a bit. Um, and lots of people thought she was pretty, pretty mean and nasty. She went a bit real life as well on some people. They've all it's got their own again. history with it. Big up's body sculpture. Body sculpture sent tippies. The armchair ripper strikes back vile as ever. I just come off Twitter and noticed you was on Let the Show Begin. I think between Eddie and the ripper, these pair will make a good doubles act. Let's see if Eddie makes another video live from the asylum. Super Chuffer owes five hugs. Thank you very much. I've got to be careful about that. If he turns out to actually be in an asylum, then I've got to be careful about what I say. Because, you know, I was making big jokes about it's funny because if someone's in Broadmoor and they're criminally insane, we can have a pop. Because, like, you know, there is a limit, isn't there, in my opinion. But actually reflecting on it and looking into it recently, um, those institutions and people that are in them, like, if you are suffering from mental illness, so that 
point and you haven't committed a crime, I'm going to be sympathetic. But if you have committed a crime, I still think, well, you know, we can maybe have a little bit of a pop. But um, it's a really, really delicate and strange world that is the, the asylum. So like, whilst I've created and set up that whole context because I thought Eddie was living in a normal situation and just seemed a bit off his rocker, um, now I'm a bit worried that he might actually be in an asylum and I've got to be a bit more careful. Um, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. The cat's all right. She's in a different room, chilling somewhere else. Um, the... Uh, yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought a little bit there. I'm like everybody else, human. Oh yeah, I was telling you what about Bin Bin. So I called her Bin Bin because she was called Bam Bam, but I didn't like, you know, give her a funny name. Um, and uh, basically, she would every live she would do, she'd delete it at the end. It would not be public, and so all of her meanness, her vitriol, her little group of like the flies who circle around her, like flies around something they're attracted to, um, that would go on and people would be eggy and upset and they'd have back and forths and she'd delete them. As far as I was concerned, it's best just to let it roll off your back and not give her two chuffs because if she's going to delete it as immediately as she said it, it, like no one really cared about. I used to say that it's the equivalent of listening to someone shout in the car park, you know, like as you're going to collect your shopping trolley, you know, they're yelling at you about, oh, I don't really care what you say. Um, so like it's wasn't I wasn't that concerned or worried and it wasn't a big deal to me but to some people in that crime community she was like big big you know venomous nasty they were all, some of them are still quite cross um that's who she was and uh then she went disappeared off YouTube because she got banned and then some months later it's turned out that she's died and no one knows exactly how or what but people have got their opinions and thoughts about it especially those who've been involved in this sort of thing for five years and know very well who she is and have like feelings and opinions so they forget the damage they do i wonder if they would like it reversed onto them well they cry wouldn't they i wouldn't cry alan because i haven't done all the horrible hateful things you have to have it reversed onto them it's not simply a case of oh people decided they didn't like alan so now everyone's picking on alan it's not like a case of like let's just find something to pick on it's that you're a horrible bad person and we're drawing account to it <laughs> you're a nasty sleazy narcissistic grifter the big problems with alan big target you know big big ticket problems is the grifting is pretty bad pretty bad the next level is the lying to the point where he's lied about. I don't know that. You do. You should. It's true. Um, the the next point is the lying. To the point where he's lied about like criminal case. Real. He described the other day about true crime as helping him get away from real life, but it's actually real people's lives. So lying about it and making up loads of weird shit on the internet that was bad. Like he's being sued for defamation by the family of the deceased murder victims. Like we all know how bad Alan is, don't we? Here we all know it, but you know for fairness there, like. That's not why I'm here. I might do a little show on that after this, because we've had some bad news this week on the streets of YouTube. So The streets of YouTube. Anyway, for this well, show... Well, not the streets of YouTube, because she was banned and so are you. Guys. Christian Bruckner. So should I skip past the Christian Bruckner stuff, because I really don't want to listen to it? One's going to be tried for Maddie. Because, like, he's not anything to do with Madeline... Madeline, and... That was Christian Brooker, yeah. Didn't call her name. And I'm not watching his TikToks, Alan's TikToks. So. When? He's there when it happened. And why? Well, because he gets his kicks out of it. Oh, it's pretty sick. He, he probably enjoyed it. I could probably look at it, but we're on YouTube, so I don't really want to delve into how much Alan enjoys narrating the crimes of a child crimer. You know, a, you know what I mean? Like, so we'll skip that. Gators are bad people and just picking on him. I have to investigate it. The prosecutor's office was closing in on the Maddie case. This guy's, yeah. But you, you must admit, this guy is one evil piece of work, right? Yeah, that sounds like you, Alan. You know. I know that you had, um, didn't you have... You had um, poster voting that can be rigged. We had a, a by-election in Rochdale yesterday. It was 20,000... Oh, my God. Is he talking about Rochdale? ...in history. When does he get off that into this? I think Brooklyn needs to be locked up forever. Let's yeah, start here. He's an absolute danger to every female on this earth. 
That's you, Alan. He doesn't really see the light of day again. He's not so strong as he used to be. He's, he's looking very frail now. That's you, Alan. Happy St. David's Day, yes. Yes, St. David's Day. Well done, Welsh Pam. I've got, of, I've got some political stuff to do on Sunday in my country. Oh, my God, he's not going to do... I, like, I mean, briefly, what's happened in, in my country... <laughs> In my country, in my country, briefly, interesting, it is quite interesting, but uh, Rochdale by-election, which is in the north, this is just real quick, uh, in the north of England, it would normally be the Labour Party should really sweep the vote. In recent times, that people maybe have not voted for them and voted Conservative instead, but look, George Galloway is back and his Workers' Party have swept the board there. So it seems that the Labour Party aren't representing a certain group of people who they feel they are and he's swept in to represent them in some way. That's a bit of a story in a certain part of politics. Uh, I'm not going to make a big thing of it necessarily right now and I, I don't want Alan to either because I don't really want to talk about it now. It's a bit boring. But If you've heard of Secretarian, it's like we've never had religion in our politics. We've never had religion in our politics in, in history. We had it in Ireland with the Protestants and the Catholics. I don't know if Alan realises that George Galloway is very, very... Um, I don't want to bring religion into it and say Islamic... Uh, Pro-Islamic, but, like, you know, in terms of, like, Israel and Hamas or whatever, like, you know... Well, let's not even get into it. George Galloway's got his strong opinions anyway. Sinn Féin and the other side. Sinn Féin and the other side? <laughs> time in my life I've seen it in my country this week <laughs> who's the other side Alan <laughs> I told you about the Trojan horse pretty soon there's going to be an uh, Islamic party with Islamic MPs and we're going to have there are Islamic MPs now sectarian violence sectarian not sectarian and religion that you know I know that you had um, didn't you have you had um Poster voting that can be rigged. We had a. This is weird. This is. He's, he is literally now just chatting to his mates on the internet now, a bit like we do on Twitch. But this is his Rumble show. He's done the Christian Brookham stuff. Thank God there's 15 minutes of this for us to cover. We might have to get another vote on what other video we want to watch as part of tonight's stream if this goes a bit quick. But. A by election in Rochester yesterday was. It's going to get weird. 20,000 poster votes, which is unbelievable amount, right? <laughs> One one home had eight people living in one bedroom flat with eight votes for the guy that won it. I, I'm getting worried that um, religion's creeping into our politics. I don't like that. A bit weird because he's on Rumble. He can say whatever he wants. You know, he can go into like vote rigging and stuff, but he hasn't got any idea. He just alluded to the idea. I think what he was actually like subtly alluding to there is that. Um, when you're on the lower end of the poverty scale, and certainly we found in the UK immigrants from all over the world have come to the UK in different times. We've had a lot of Ukrainians recently, and but he might be alluding to the fact that certain Asian, uh, like it's been no, you know what I mean? Like it's, you can get uh, more people in a family living in a smaller space if you're an immigrant community because of poverty and situations, and like Asian families have been known to do that. Like it's almost like a sort of covert bit of racism that you did there in a way I do know that in Texas you got six million. Oh my god that's an interesting number six million that's an interesting number <laughs> uh, YouTube you're gonna have to be a bit quicker than this tonight that's an interesting number All right, so ladies and gentlemen, six million, six million, that's a pretty interesting number, isn't it? Six million, well, guess what? You're wrong. It didn't happen. You're making it up, right? You make that shit up. No, how about this? Band, 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 wrong forever because i don't put up with your fucking bullshit <laughs> <laughs> B 
bizarre. That's an interesting number. Immigrants arrived. This is numbers that you can't control. We haven't had six billion immigrants. Not in the last, like, I don't know what he's talking about. It seems ridiculous. Sure. Like we're a country of 70 million people. If six million immigrants turned up recently, you would fucking know about it. Galloway. George Galloway's been around for a long time. And uh, he's anti-Labour Party and anti-Great Britain. And my biggest problem is, is that they're English last. You ask them what they are, they say, whatever, whatever. Oh my God. I didn't realise we were doing this. I thought we were going to go on to the sort of bam, bam, self-pity, uh, mortality trip. But instead, we're doing a bit of racism. You ask them what they are, they won't say British. But who will say what? Ask Anthony Joshua what he is. For his, for his public, you know, public PR campaign, it was quite important that he was British first. But like, he's from a Nigerian cultural background. But he is British, of course. He represented Britain in the Olympics. He's a British, but he's Nigerian British, you could say. But we don't say that. We just say British because I think we're more cultured than to just like worry too much about which. In, like in America, I'm not saying they're less cultured, but you have like this like Afro. Caribbean American or what did they say Afro-American or something but when you're white American you're just American or white American I don't, do we need to all that or can we just say they're British like, and can they just but when you ask them <laughs> then they're probably going to give you a more like they probably just assume you mean who, who are you asking <laughs> wait wait who is they who are you asking why are we going down this they never road? say they don't want to be English most of them don't want to be English right? what do you mean I think you should speak the language and never loyalty to Great Britain, but they... Speak the language, yeah. It's that they're English last. You ask them what they are, they'll say whatever, whatever. Never I mean, say I think of a good example of this. is like Polish people, for example, who came to settle in Britain or Ukrainian people who came to settle in Britain after that war. Like, But I remember there was quite a lot of um, Polish people and there was, a, you know... Some points in society, a little bit, a bit of negative backlash. But I really enjoyed getting to know a lot of Polish people. I even visited Poland a few times. Uh, so, no, you ask them what they are, they will say they're Polish. But the lady that I know that married an Englishman and has English children in England, their passports will be British. Maybe they can get a Polish passport as well. They will. She will still say she's Polish, but she's settled in Britain and she's like part. Like her children will say they're British, and like it just it's okay. <laughs> Like, what's wrong with Alan? They don't want to be English. Most of them don't want to be English, right? I think you should speak the language and never loyalty to Great Britain, but they don't. Right. Yeah. How are you going to... Wait, how are you going to enforce a loyalty to Great Britain? Okay, um... I'm going to end it there. Cause I'm Good, going to end it there, but we're not. We're going to have 15 more or 20 more minutes, thank God. But we just, at the end of his talk about what Christian Brooker did, and we skimmed past that, we haven't watched that. We might watch it on Twitch and, you know, selectively edit it and bring it to YouTube because he's going to talk about some horrible, horrible crimes and he's going to enjoy them. Hey, but... Happy Street David's Day. To the, to the... Please don't let him be Welsh. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Alan's not well. She doesn't even know what St. David Day is. He doesn't know that he's the patron saint of Wales. He just said it because someone said it. Um, I hope that this that I'm wearing is not... I just got this off the internet. I don't know what this arms is. I hope it's. I hope I don't look like the, the worst nationalist by wearing like the, the costume of the traditional... I was saying this on Twitch earlier. Like, am I wearing the costume of the real traditional Britain? Am I like, you know, get, get those Romans out! <laughs> There's too many immigrants around here speaking Latin all the time. They don't even learn English. They're speaking Latin. Get the Romans out. I don't want to see so many Vikings around here. Speak English, you chuffing Vikings. Raping and pillaging our... No, get them out. <laughs> There's too many Celts. <laughs> I just got this off the internet. I hope no one thinks it's like Templars or anything. Masons. It's just a chuffing, interesting hooder from the internet that looks like it's got... Calm down. I'm going to do a, a little show. Yak, yak shamash. Dobje, badzo dobje. I've been, like I said, I've been off this week because there's things that have happened. I've got to be careful what I say, but I'm going to do a little show. You've got to be careful what you say. Why have you been off this week? What's happened? Why have you got to be careful what you say? 
That's weird. He's always lying about it. Usually he's got some jollies on when he goes off. Do you remember? Like, he was all crying and he needed extra money and then he went to Malta to play poker. Usually it's jollies, isn't it, Alan? And I don't think the Malta jollies are going to stop, even if you pretend to be skint. So we'll have to have a look into where the poker games are on. We haven't been following that that hard. You know, at this point, people don't really care if you're that pathetic <laughs> that you would piss your money away on a gambling habit that drives you so hard that you should even follow the events around the country to piss your money into. It's just bizarre to me that this man who spent so much on gambling on the internet, because we've seen the records. There's an episode on Battery Exhausted, this channel you're watching right now, about Alan's gambling habits. We saw the records of it. There's a, a website, Poker Shark, and it shows you all the apps. And we saw that he poured money into all the apps and lost it. Lots. He's got a proper habit, proper bad gambling habit. But, yeah. For you in, in about a quarter of an hour. Um, about... Is he going to go on, if he's going to go on uh, Patreon afterwards, if he actually does, I'd like someone in the chat to try and grab hold of that Patreon and get it to me if he's doing that. Hate on the internet. And I, I don't want to link it to one person. Or it might be that he just does it now for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then he doesn't do the Patreon because he's got 20 more minutes in him here, you see. In particular, but... Oh, I just want to... I don't even know if I want to do it. He wants to have a good go. He doesn't want to link it to one person in particular. There are only a couple of people. There's Bam who's died. There's me. There's Martin. There's Val. You know, there's the gang stalkers. Um, yeah. I don't even know if I want to do it. I might, I might not. I might be back in about a quarter of an hour with a short thing about hate and dehumanization of people on the internet. After what you just said about immigrants. Does he not see the juxtaposition here? You ask them what they are, they don't won't say they're English. Yeah, I might come back and do a bit about how, you know, people say mean things about me on the internet. Stop the hate. I don't know, should I do it or not? What do you think, Spanners? <laughs> do you want me to do a little half an hour show on? No, they don't. They wish you would stop doing that. They've had a week where you haven't done as many shows and they've thought, well, that's actually quite relaxing. I can go and watch some better content somewhere else. They're obliged to turn up to your crap. After all this time, they feel some sort of like guilt complex that you forced upon them through your gaslighting. So they turn up, but really, no, they don't. They don't want you to. No, no. Um, you know what's happened this week? I don't know. He's talking about Bam Bam. Just talk about it, you nutter. Oh, am I glitching? Not sure. That's me, I'm glitching. Hang on, I'm pausing him. It's like, for some reason, my computer today is not handling having so many windows open. Hmm. We had a recent update. It should be able to hack it. See how we go. Yeah, maybe I should. That's him glitching All right, out. so there might be a show pop-up in a few minutes. Keep your eyes on this Rumble link. There might be a show. I'm not getting any response from my spanners in my chat. but I'm He's not getting any response. Might be to do half an hour. Unless somebody doesn't want me to. I don't know. I don't like the hate and toxicity of what's going on, but I'll see what, see what I think in about a quarter of an hour. Alan, you are the source. So I might be back in 15 minutes. You're the source of hate. Response from my people by not getting one. Do it now. Do it now. Oh, there we go. Good. Do it now. Well, uh, do it now while I'm here. Just, just okay. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How has he spent ten minutes umming and ahhing over? Well, and just someone in his chat just said, "Do it now." I can't be asked to fucking deal with any more of your nonsense tonight. Get it off your chest now, and let's just all go. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, all oh, right, that's enough provocation for me. I'll do it right now. <laughs> to do, I was going to come off and come back on again. But um, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I haven't been on this week because of some news I heard. Okay, let's get into it. I'm not having a script anymore for this. No more scripts. The phone is, what's going on? 
The phone is up there with his script on. Usually he has his computers with his script on, but he's proving it. We're removing the phone. No script. We're going completely off piste here for this. No script. No spanners. You weren't talking to me anyway. Fuck you. But like... What's going on? Do you know anyone else who like, usually has his telly on with his script, yeah? So he's doing a stream from somewhere else, I guess. But do you know anyone else who would be like, yeah, I'm going to have my phone up with my script just... Like, it's probably quite good practice, actually, if you're a proper... It's actually the most professional thing he does. But it just seems so weird, doesn't it? Because he obviously doesn't do any of the work himself. Someone just writes out something for him to say. He sits there. Ne I've said this before as well. Some of the times he's reading these scripts, it's like he's never heard any of the words put in that order before. He doesn't know who the people are, what he's talking about, and he just reads it off the cuff. But like, yeah, we're going script free now. Not that you would need a script to talk about your feelings about what's happened to you this week. <laughs> But I would say, you know, if you're going to be doing this every stream, which I hope he is, I think if Alan's got half a brain, like I said, the first 15 minutes of his stream to let the room fill up instead of that nonsense he does with the minute of no nothing should be Alan's 15 minutes of, like, entertain. Because you're there to get people involved, entertain them, and then run the show. So do something to, you know, perk it up at the start, entertain. But don't just sit there and, like, twiddle your thumbs, give me a minute, where's anaphylaxis, who's going to say hello? It ruins it every time. You know, Alan should know this. He knows about showmanship. No more anything. This but yeah, no script for this. We're going to go off piste when we talk about what your feelings are from what happened to you this week. So yeah, you don't need a script. It's just personal. Personal to me. To me. To me. And my to life and other lives, you know? Me. I want to show you a picture. AD, 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 AD! Personal to this me. This has nothing to do with the McCann case anymore. It's just me talking. If, if you want to go, you can go. If you want to go, you can go. Whereas before, you were obliged to stay. <laughs> um, let me show you this. He is in a different location, because when the green screen fails over here sometimes, there's something in there that's not usually there. He's not in his usual location. And I think he's bought himself a new hooder, so he doesn't look so grimy. Come on, AD. <laughs> Come on, AD. I'm not very good. At, I'm not very good at some of this. Bullying is bad, right? We all agree, don't we? Filling time there. Verbal diarrhea. Um, oh, what's you this? Can't see this. Oh. <laughs> Everything disappeared. Wait, this is good. <laughs> I'm not very good. At, I'm not very good at some of this. The green screen bullying technology. Bullying is bad, right? We all agree, don't we? We're not bullying you. You're a nasty, narcissistic grifter. Some of the things you've said and done on the internet are well beyond the pale, to the point where you are getting sued for defamation by the victims of a murder. Well, not the victims, they're the dead people, but you know what I mean, the family of the victims of the murder. Like You are a nasty, narcissistic grifter. We've held you to account, we've pulled your pants down on the internet, smacked your bum. What happened in response was you got really nasty, did some horrible things, doxing people, um, all sorts of weird nonsense, and... We uncovered some strange and weird, like you singing with kids on that karaoke app, the things you said about like when you got caught with the Google search, mother licks cunt off daughter's face, and then the stuff you said about CP on the internet. Uh, big up, Samba. You like the hooda? The hooda! <laughs> Start the stream is man the horses! Um, yeah, Alan, you're a bad man. Like You're not getting bullied on the internet. That's not what's happening here. You were the bully. And then all the people that you were bullying ganged up and shoved your head down the toilet and flushed it. And now you're a figure of ridicule. You're a lol cow. People watch your content to laugh at how bad you are at doing content. And that's fine because you're a nasty person. Um, you can't see this. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I missed it again. I, that's what I want. Is I want to pause that. I'm not, very good at, I'm not very good at some of this. Bullying is bad, right? We all agree, don't we? Um, you can't see. Lovely. <laughs> Screenshot in that. At one point, Alan managed to make his stream <laughs> just the background and managed to make himself disappear. <laughs> This. Oh, where have I gone? Ah. 
there see that see that would you it says why would you do this to a human and then It's me! It's it's supposed to be about Bam Bam. It's supposed to be about Alan. It's about me. <laughs> because, lo and behold, you know what that is, don't you? It's raining again. I couldn't be happy. Home falls creepy attic sent tippies. Pick up the tippies. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Pick up someone's creepy attic. Here's the minker now. Here's the minker. Um, is this a video or a live stream that I did? Of Alan with his face, uh, because you know I like to do pictures of his face, and usually it's just his face. I don't really manipulate his face. I just turn the colour up or down. But recently, I found a little bit of joy in uh, this one's just the colour. That one, just you know, just the colour slightly turned up or down. So that's what he actually looks like there. That one, yeah. Um, but you'll see like the one that says uh, this one, deluded Alan. You see his ears a little bit stretched there. I take a little bit of the side and just stretch it a bit. His ears a bit stretched, so I take a little bit of fun and just slightly make him look a little bit more sillis. Just a little bit more sillis. So this one, Angry Alan's Ruin, I've just done that. His face has just been slightly stretched to the left. That's all. It's not a lot. He does look like that. He went, he looked down and his neck and all that is actually like that. But the bit at the edge with the ear, like he thinks I've done all his neck and everything. I haven't. That's the funny thing about it, is I haven't done all his neck. His neck was really like that. In fact, I've got the original picture somewhere. But just the ear and the left, to the left a bit, I've just stretched slightly. But he actually did look like that with the neck. He went and tried to look down like that, and his big double neck went. He actually looks like that. That's not fake. That's what he really looks like with the colour turned up. I'll admit the ear, that bit of his ear... Is just slightly stretched out at the, the left hand side but you can see how much of the background is stretched at the left hand side not much his face and all that that's what he looks like the color i've turned up yeah but the double neck the big double neck he's actually that's his neck he looked down at something and he made that and i paused it and got a cool fi picture of him looking like that that's what he looks like <laughs> but he's going to try and make out like oh how can you do this to a person how would you do this to a human? That's an old picture of you, Alan. Your favourite best ever one. You don't look like that anymore. You look like the bloke on the left with the big neck. <laughs> you do this to a human being. This is me on the right. Yeah. As I am. That's no, as you were. That's me. And on the left is me. As, as you actually are now. As I'm portrayed, portrayed by a YouTuber who takes my pictures and distorts my face. No. Only the ear. The rest of that and all the neck. That's really what you look like. I deleted all my screenshots recently, but it'll be on Twitter. I tweeted it. I'll have to dig it out after this show and I'll tweet it. I'll prove it. That's actually what he looked like. It was in one of his episodes. I paused it. It makes me look that. Look like that. I mean, why would you do this to a human being, especially like a near 70-year-old? <laughs> have you not been following this, Alan? Good luck with your channel, son. Have you not been following this? Good luck with your channel, son. What you want to do is go back to this, the start of the... Uh, there's a really big playlist now of the Angry Alan playlist. Go back to the start and have a look at what you said about me and what you did. It wasn't just me, it was other people. But me and you, Alan, it was you stole my content directly by downloading one of my videos off the internet and uploading it to your channel and collecting 19,000 views. Then what you did was you plagiarised the things I said and said them as if you said them. You even went to the trouble of trying to prove it by doing a video saying, look, I don't care about being first and everything, you know, but... I'm first. But you tried to prove it, and it was simple. I just showed everyone my video was six days before yours, the end. Like, after that, it was sort of game on, wasn't it? And then here we are. Like, have you not been... Look at all those tiny pics as previews. No, what they are at the bottom, the pics. I, I, there might be pics, yeah. There might be. Can you zoom in? Um, yeah. Oh, maybe. Good point. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to... Oh, go on then. Go on then. It's content. It's content. I don't know how much I will be able to get out of it because they are tiny. And my computer is... Oh, it went up... That was weird. It tried to send 10,000 kilobytes all at once then. I've got it limited to six, so... I, um, that was weird. Maybe something's trying to update on there. 
Uh, right, let's try and have a look at his pictures. Well, it sometimes is. Sometimes they're not pictures. Sometimes what he does is he has a video and he skims through it. Um, sometimes they are legit, like, pictures. But you see how tiny this is? It's going to, when I blow it up, it's going to turn to nothing. Now you can see that, you know what that is, that's the picture that we're looking at there. But then these other ones, I mean, unless you know what they are. Some of them are his TikToks. Mink, what are you doing? You're right. Oh, you can play on that. Yeah, that's fine. That's your stuff. Um, some of those are his TikToks. But, I mean, it's going to be, it's a good shout. Like, he's, he's revealing information here, but what I can get of it, that's a TikTok there. So, more to the left. I mean, a couple of them look like they might be pictures of ladies. Or something, but, yeah. It's going to be hard to get something out of that. It's going to be hard to get something out of that. Eddie's got a new channel, has he? Oh, big ups, Red Fan. Did I miss another gifted tier sub? Or is that, have I got, hang on, let me change my chat to live chat because I think I might have gifted, Red Fan might have gifted some tippies. AD, 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 AD! Or did I miss them or something? Big ups anyway, if you did. Um, the, uh, Eddie might have a new channel, uh, but he, he might want to join my guild. Anyway. As I am, that's me. On the left is me as I'm prepared, portrayed by... This is annoying me now because, look, you can see that he's not stretched or anything. Like, his neck is his neck. His glasses are his glasses. His face is his face. Just the bit at the tip of the ear got stretched when I pulled the left-hand side of the frame across. But that's how he looks. I've stretched him a bit to fit the frame to make him... No, that's how he looks. I've not dramatically stretched him. You can physically see it. If he's, why wouldn't his glasses and his mouth and all that? How clever I am. I'm not that clever at Photoshop. It's just on PC Paint, mate. A YouTuber who takes my pictures and distorts my face. But he loves it. It's super chuffer. His battery exhausted. He can't get enough. Makes me look that. Look like that. I mean, why would you do this to a human being, especially like a near 70-year-old? Why would you dehumanize somebody to look like a monster? I want you to look at that picture and you old ladies that run Facebook groups and pretend you don't watch me. And I know you're watching me now. Look what your friends do to me. They're not my friends, all of them, but they can be if they want. It's all right. It's just a funny picture. Grow up. And you will go on your Facebook group. And you portray me as a crook. A monster. You are a crook and a monster. monster. I don't know what. What kind of person goes on Smule? What kind of person? You did all those threats on the internet as well. Come on, the internet. Why is the internet chugging for me? There we are, look. Who's this? He's waving at him. The boy's waving at him. Sicko. And you do it every night and every day of my life. Every day of my life, you do it. You do these things. Go away from the internet. Alan, everyone else can be on here watching this, having fun. We'll talk about other people. You can go away from the internet now. Your persona non grata. Persona non grata. You can go away from the internet now, Alan. No one needs to hear your drivel anymore. You're just grifting it out for a few measly little bits. Like, you can do those women on Zoom. Just go and do those women on Zoom. No one, needs, no one else needs it. And you pretend you don't watch me and you say, I just happened to switch on AD for five minutes. Everything I say... 
TikTok is so young, didn't you say, Alan? Is that what you said? I should clip that, but I've got this. There is no child porn on the internet. I hate to warn you that. There is no child porn on the internet. I checked. I've got a big armchair. And do is distorted and... It's not distorted. This is you. Spun. It's not spun. I unspin it. You do the spin. I unpick your bollocks, so to speak. I'm not a bad human being. I've yes, you are. I've lived a good life. I've no, you haven't. Never been arrested. Just because you've not been arrested doesn't mean you've not done bad things. I've never done anything really bad in my life. I've, yes, you have. I've made mistakes. Yes, agreed. In business. In business, what mistakes? Like not paying your tax and not handing in the books. It's easy to say it's a mistake, isn't it? But, you know, getting struck off and disqualified, not all of us make that mistake, do we? And then I ran a bar, and then when I got old, I found this thing called the internet. And I, I went on Facebook and I wrote about crime. What it is, Alan, is you watched Richard D. Hall be successful and you wanted a bit of that because you're desperate to be a sort of famous, big, special person. All your life you thought you were a bit special and all your life you've been knocked back because you're not special, you're rubbish. And then you wanted to grift money off... You thought, Richard D. Hall's quite popular amongst the older ladies there. Look, there's a certain group of ladies on the internet. And when it's a murder and a child murder, there's a group of people interested in it. And they're the sort of people that are vulnerable to your grift. So you wanted to sort of get a bit of that, get a bit of that action. So you started up as an internet grifter, fleecing people who are interested in child murders. But also, you have a real strong interest in murders. That has, That is true, I'll give you that. But it's not true crime because you like solving murders. It's you're interested because you're fascinated with the mind of a murderer. Because you have the mind of a murderer. Like you're that far gone in the nut job head. You're a narcissistic, self absorbed like narcissistic not just thrown around as a funny term you're a full proper narcissist like grifting horrible nasty man have we not understood this yet have we not got this and i found i had a passion for crime right a passion for crime yeah agreed you've always had a passion for crime you're a criminal a passion for crime i still have yeah because you're a crook con man grifter because for some reason i have a way of seeing things no you have a fantasist's mind and some people go along with your fantastic delusions on the internet you've got a way of grifting vulnerable and the reason they're vulnerable is because they're emotional they're involved in this rabbit hole on the internet and you can get at them through this social media presence you have and like pr present this thing to the like you've grifted people who were vulnerable to your charms in inverted commas that's what it is alan get it straight been projecting what i feel about those crimes you know and not being big headed but i was damn good at it no you weren't i used to do um you made things up to make yourself day and... you made things up to make yourself seem important and because everyone was locked in at home they all had to watch the internet and because netflix did a big documentary on chris watts you piggybacked it the night in covid we did it all Anything that you that you brought to light that was interesting was someone else's work. A, lo a lady called Diane found the shadows. But um, it got worse and worse. For you. And I've got to be careful what I say. It it got the stage whereas now. That I. I'm dehumanised. Oh my god! I feel. I'm being honest with you. I feel like a bad person. You are I feel a bad. Like a bad person because this is the feelings you get when you have the results of being a bad person, and you have to sit in your own shit. You've been banned off YouTube. You've lost all support except for the couple of really, <laughs> I want to say committed, but I also want to say demented people. And you're rolling in your own rubbish here. I'm being sued for being a bad person. And if you get sued for bad, being a bad Do you think he's insinuating that Bam Bam did that to herself and he may be driven to it? I didn't know that. Like, if he really is, I didn't get that feeling myself, but um, no one knows what happened to Bam Bam. So, and she wasn't getting driven to that because she'd been banned off YouTube. So no one was talking to her from, like, certainly I wasn't trolling her. No. Bad person. By a Although I don't know what was going on behind the scenes amongst her weird crowd, do I? So, but. A person that's at a terrible loss in their lives, then you're going to be thinking, I'm a bad person.
whether you like it or not. Because if that person then builds an army to destroy you... This is the narcissist. It's not his fault. He's inventing a massive delusion. People have watched him on the internet. A load of you here in chat, right? Is it that? I'll give you options. Are you here because... We should do it as a vote. Are you here because someone built an army of people to troll Alan and because of five years of Chris Watts stuff, they've managed to get to you? Or is it because you've seen who he is and you agree that he's a bit of a cock and so you enjoy laughing at him for being a cock? <laughs> like, which one is it? Like, I think he's a selfish, nasty, deluded cock. But a lot of other people... Well, no, hang on. Just you, Alan, seems to think it's because of some sort of clandestine plan by a group of people to take him down. <laughs> I mean, literally destroy you and your family. And I've had to move home twice already. You haven't had to move home twice already. The reason you've had to move home twice already is because you pissed away your money on poker. Like, if you were sensible at the height of your success on YouTube, you would have moved home once and then stayed there. But somehow you've managed to... I, I would imagine the downsizing you've turned into pots of money haven't you or have you got debts mounting up because of all the poker games that you lose i just i'm a bit confused but don't try and lie it's not because you were getting trolled and they don't see it as wrong because they don't see me as human you're not that special alan you're not that big on the internet i've got your address you published it on your patron publicly so i've got your address i'm probably one of the people who dissents you the most like public dissent me on Alan, I do it quite a lot, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have never turned up at your house and have no intention to. Like, you are not in danger of people coming to burn your house down. Unless, of course, and this is what really worries me about Alan, is he might have this real worry that, like, the noncing stuff, you know, stuff like that. If that's real and that's serious, then people might want to have, like, serious thoughts. The people he's harmed in his life, if they knew where he lived, you know, because he's public on the internet, all his guilt that he carries around I wouldn't be so worried because I think who's going to really give a shit to want to come to my house and you know do horrible things it's a bit over but maybe him maybe Eddie but other than that like but for Alan it's like he's probably got a big list of people he's worried about you know imagine all the people from his past that if we got to talk to them and they came forward and they saw us talking and came onto the internet you know and then they learned out where he lived and stuff I mean he's the one with the guilt complex with the problems but no one has gone to his house to cause him direct physical trouble and then he's had to move that's not what's happened like that guy there that did that picture of me they don't see me as a human being do they they see me as something that's got to be got rid of but what has got rid of Alan you are a human being this is stupid as well narcissism like it's like every sentence he is not some human being in the mind of not it's not in our minds because he's putting ideas into our minds in his fantasy but in his fantasy world they see him as something bigger than human superhuman you could say and he's got a little bit of a cheeky smile about that because for the narcissist and we're doing it now i've said it before i give him a little bit when i do this he gets like he's in the picture on youtube where people are talking about him big narcissist he's better than everyone else because people talk about him like he gets something out of that yeah some narcissistic fuel but we get a lot more by being able to rip the piss out of him and talk about it so you know i still win but really with a narcissist like this we could all just not talk about him and he would really hate it because the truth is other than us alan no one really does give a shit <laughs> you know no, no one really does give a shit Colette, uh, I see what you're saying in chat there. Unless that person is actually here, just could be lay off saying certain things about particular people because otherwise it will, like, you know, get you moderated because, like, um, it might get you in trouble for, like, saying people's names and stuff. So just careful. Like, obviously I'm behind you on that, but, like, just, you know, careful in chat there. I mean, what, what is it they want? How far has this got to go? How many more nights are they going to watch me and write about me? Uh, as long as you keep putting a load of shit out onto the internet, Alan. Do you know what I'd really do well, Alan? You know, if you wanted to stop this, there's two things. First of all, come and join in. Be on the stream. Don't let me pause you all the time. Be part of it. We can't do it on YouTube because you've been banned, but we can do it on Twitch. We can have fun. We can do Alan and Scott's movie night. People, some people are going to hate this because they really don't like you, so they don't want you to have any any success in your life at all but i can help you to gain something out of the internet at the moment you're struggling 
But because I can, let's be fair, the word is exploit. I can exploit you. We can make some monies. We can have some fun. I can have a pop at you. You can have a pop back. Even if we're just talking about movies, we can try and find some, you know, on Top Gear where Richard Hammond and Jeremy Clarkson have a bit of a, a pop. You know, we can have some fun. Chill out. We can do that. I can turn it into something financially viable for you to get paid off. I will pay you for your time. You know, I'm not some horrible, evil person that will just completely exploit you. Exploitation is, you know, like, you know, the worker and the person that exploits the worker is their boss, but then they give them money. And I, you know, some people are going to say, don't even give him money, don't it? But, you know, we'll have a lot of fun. There's an option anyway. There's an option. Another option, Alan, is that you just stop. And then I'm not going to talk about the shit that you're pumping out because you're not pumping out any more shit. <laughs> There's another choice. But even... it's coming to the point where they are your only choices. Because this dog and pony show, whatever, I don't know if that's the right, I don't want to denigrate dogs nor ponies, but this, whatever you're doing, is pretty fucking rubbish. Everyone knows it's rubbish. No one really cares. No one, like, you've got, you could do your spanners on Zoom, like I said. They, they don't care. This is not worth, it's not worth your time. <laughs> Unless you listen to me about how to change your content to make it entertaining, you are done on the internet. This is not worth your time. It's not worth anyone else's time. No, I even skip past your true crime stuff. It's just rubbish. <laughs> Big up was Meg. He could wear a mask and be like Anon and do it on YouTube, voice distorter. We'd still get in trouble. Torture you the battery boy. But we could try, I suppose. We could try. I mean, I don't want to get banned off YouTube for platforming someone who's been banned. Like, I'm allowed to react to his content and rip it apart like this because I'm not platforming him. You know, he's not literally on my show as a guest, but um, we do it on Twitch. It would have to be, you know, we'd have to ask for tippies, but, I, I, you know, it's hard to do. On YouTube, you could literally do pay-per-view. Anyway, it's by the by, isn't it? Because Alan can't do it, but um, his market value is depleted by the fact of him being so rubbish and, like him getting banned off YouTube but it's it's a lifeline for him Scott will offer to pay him money for doing content I mean he's a YouTube content creator isn't he or he wants to be so Scott will offer to pay him money for doing content and it'll be fun and like what's wrong with that oh Alan's got such a problem he can't do anything oh Alan's gonna have to do it his way and yeah what's your way getting you Alan down the toilet and you've already seen listen to Scott's advice here's another option Alan here's another option the final option apologize Make a big, serious apology where you list all the people that you've been mean to and the things you've done that were wrong and say why you're sorry about it. Why don't you do that? And not a sorry but. Not a sorry but. You know, sorry. Good luck with your channel, son. Not that. A proper sorris. You know, I want sorry Val. I want sorry um, Frankie. I want, a, a, like, you might as well just jaff in the court case and say you're sorris. You know, proper sorris. You could do that. That's an option as well. So you've got three options. I hope he does the... Uh, Let's make some content option because that would be brilliant. He's got to come to me as well. I can't, I'm not allowed to, you know, I'm not harassing him, am I? So I'm not going to go to him. But I keep saying this now. This is, I'm going to be a bell that I'm going to ring in our content. And every time I talk about Alan, well, not every time because you'll get bored of it, but like, you know, he's got to accept it, hasn't he? He's got to accept it. The only place on the internet where he's got any viability is our lot, you lot. You'll have a good laugh if Alan was on the stream, wouldn't you? You'd go and you'd watch something with me and Alan having a, you know, me having a, cheeky choppy uh, Alan you'd watch it that's where he's got the people that would watch otherwise who gives a chuff Can Can and Melissa M Melissa Minvelus and on YouTube yeah, they're still writing about me they drag my videos I'm banned from YouTube and they drag my videos back onto YouTube I'm not even allowed on there but they're very allowed to have me on there in this format but look at his smile. He loves it. Told you he gets something out of it. Weird, isn't he? But it's all detrimental. Not a good word. Big ups, Amanda. I'm all right. I'm all right. I've not been feeling unhappy. Like mentally, I feel good. Physically, sometimes I feel a bit like... Uh, 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 but don't we all at this time of year, I suppose. But no, like, I'm looking forward to a really good year this year. It's all going well has ever said for me if i didn't have you supporters i i, I don't know what i do i don't know what i do well, you, you, and i you, tried i made a video didn't i about, financially bankrupt wouldn't you alan you know what i made a video about hate 
and please stop. And I did it as a theme tune last week, you know. And it was awful, wasn't it? What you did was a theme tune. You took an existing song from the 60s and badly, shonkily edited in some emotional crimes. <laughs> and it was like a waste of everyone's time. And you shouldn't be able to use it anyway because it's copyright music. <laughs> You're a weirdo. Like That looked like the work of someone who'd stayed up all night on cocaine to me. <laughs> I did a theme tune. Theme I tune. In it. Can you please stop the hate? Otherwise someone's going to hurt themselves. Really? Are you bringing that into this? Wow. Wow, this is not that. This is not that. If you want this to stop, I've given you three ways out there. One, stop being on the internet and saying all this horrible stuff. You're the one that does does it all. You're the one that's... T today, even in this, you had a pop at the immigrants. Right, you're the one that's doing it all. You could stop. Right, number two, and it's not, you know, not the political, but you know what I mean? Stop with your nonsense on the internet. Stop it. Number two is you could apologise. That would go a long way. But number three is you could join me on streams. I will pay you. So it wouldn't all be hate. You can give me a bit back. We can have a laugh, banter, bit of back and forth. It's YouTube. That's what the police suggested. Do you remember when you sent the police? <laughs> they said, couldn't this be solved with you? If it's a YouTube problem, couldn't this be solved on YouTube? And I said, yeah, I offered him to come on a show, but then YouTube banned him. So, and they said, oh, yeah, obviously that goes well in your favor. YouTube banned him. I, it's bizarre, Alan. I, can't you just grow up? You're going to have to threaten this now. This is awful. You don't know what you're doing. People will hurt themselves because of what's going on. And I showed a, a young girl that was murdered. Yeah, so other people have had problems on the internet. You can't use them to defend yourself. That's not what's going on. You don't feel like those people. You're using those people's tragedies and traumas as like some sort of weapon in your own, your own nonsense. Because of a hate campaign. And the father put it on... Instagram and that to say look please stop the hate and I put it up there I don't know a week ago because I really feared that people are in danger no you just want people to be sympathetic towards you and give you money from the toxic hate that's on YouTube and then this week we hear that a YouTuber is no longer with us. That right. Well, she was already banned, so she's not a YouTuber, and nobody knows anything about how she died. You know, there was a a YouTuber. You know, I don't know what happened to her. Or she wasn't the normal sort of YouTuber. We've already discussed today about not speaking ill of the dead, but she wasn't. I've explained briefly earlier. She wasn't the normal sort of YouTuber. All I know is she's passed. Yeah, all you know is she's passed, but you're going to leverage it now into something political for you. But I don't know... I don't know what you get out of dehumanising people. I don't know what you get out of it. You should ask her. She was, like, princess of the pops on that one, wasn't she? I mean, if you... She's, oh, you can't, she's dead. Supposing you... Oh, no, wait, wait. Too soon? Too soon? Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm fucking here, you fucking prick. And uh, is Alan talking sense here? No, he's not talking any fucking sense. And if he fucking carries on, I'll fucking tear his fucking eyes out. Oh, it works. It works. It works. It's only ply plyboard. It's only a bit of a... It works, though. Spent years hating this person that's no longer with us, right? How do you feel today? How do you feel today about your years of hating someone that's now no longer with us? What? <laughs> Are you off your head? I, I don't want to... Sp this is really hard for me because I don't want to end up using what he's saying to turn it into a negative attack on someone who's dead like I said it's don't speak ill of the dead leave it I'd made a little joke there but like it's leave it you know leave it at least a couple of weeks um, it's not becoming it's not 
you know what I mean? I'm not coming on the internet to do an RIP bam, let's have a pop bam. But um, the... Uh, <laughs> looks like chat's a little bit behind. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> but... What's he going on about? Like, she was very, very mean to lots of people. So it's not that like people had a hate campaign against her. It's like she was the one with the hate campaigns. Now she's dead. Lots of people will feel relief. And certain people will feel more confident to speak out against her because they were scared of her. <laughs> there will be some people who feel sad. And even like, you know, when someone like even if you weren't into them and you didn't like them and you didn't get on with them because they sort of played a big part in life you can still feel like their absence and it still makes you feel sad like you know like still like when i wrote my little bit and did a little youtube post for her uh, i felt a little bit of tear of sadness to be honest because it's a real person with you know I, I don't think she's as bad as some of the child murderers out there i think she said some pretty awful things and she went a bit real life on the old trolling but uh overall water off a duck's back to me like, even with whether it was her or not that did some doxing or whatever, you know, like, other people have got worse things that have happened to them through her, I get it, but still, like, she wasn't Hitler, so she doesn't deserve to be thrown up in the air and stamped on and dance on her grave. We can just be a bit more couth than uncouth about it, can't we? But, uh, I'm sure she'll be having a bit of a laugh now anyway about this, but Alan's somehow twisting this in this incredible I knew he was going to use it in a nice I thought his narcissistic tendency would be to say someone has died that makes me think I could die <laughs> so instead of talking about Bin Bin we're going to talk about oh, sorry I shouldn't call her that should I instead of, now she's dead um, instead of talking about Alexandra now we're going to talk about Alan and we're going to you know make it all about Alan but in some ways he's actually managed to stay on topic there was another one Norman years ago who was oh, in no we're off topic the hospital dying in hospital and he was still having videos made about him portraying him with hate as he was dying i don't know anything about How that. Did those people that were making those hate videos as he was dying feel when he passed i'll tell you they feel Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so so now, and the thing is, this is stupid because the people that were making the videos about Bin Bin, they have not, sorry, Alexandria, they have not felt, oh, we watched them a little bit earlier on Twitch. I didn't really want to bring them to YouTube like this because I don't think it's appropriate because they, I'll leave it for a bit. I'll upload them in a bit. You'll see them on Battery Exhausted, you know, my reactions to what they said in a couple of days. But they were basically saying, yeah, she's dead, but she was a bad person. And I'm like, now is not the time. <laughs> like, so... They're not what Alan thinks, oh, all sad, sad. And like, what he's trying to do is leverage it to say, Scott, you're trolling me, right? So if I died, you're going to look back and think, oh, so don't troll me now because I might die. <laughs> I mean, that's awful, isn't it? And it's ridiculous as well. So we can not worry about that. It will be sad when you die, Alan. I hope that I get an invite to your funeral. <laughs> Can't imagine I would. I mean, you've already died once officially on Facebook, haven't you? We had to cover it as a show. <laughs> Because they memorialised your Facebook. That was something the funny trolls did in the past. I wasn't around for that one, but I'm around for this. Um, so, what are you doing, Alan? You're threatening that when you die, I'm going to feel bad. Well, I probably will. I hope we can patch it up before then. It's all in your interest to do so. It's all in your court. The offer is here from my side of fun, interactive quality streaming. Even if it's combative and banter and engaging. Uh, and we won't just centre it around us having a row, we'll centre it around a topic. So it could be movie night or quiz night or whatever. And then, you know, poker night if you like. And we'll do a few streams and then you get paid. And you don't know. Like, But I'm offering, I'm a, you know, I'm the one with the olive branch out there. You're in a difficult situation, I can see it. You need money, you've said it. You need to find a way of making money off the internet. Obviously the, um, the pensions come through the the grift has worked and you've got enough money to go on another poker holiday. But if you wanted, you know, if you wanted to get paid off your content on the internet. Well. Pitching like a F. And it's stabilized itself. Why are we streaming 20,000 kilobytes? Obs is on one tonight. 
It just tried to pump out 20,000 kilobytes. Doesn't need to do that. You're not watching in 20k, are you? Anyway, should we, should we disconnected input? The, you can still hear me. Let's crack on. Let's see if it works. I hope you're all right in heaven and you're in a better place. And it's too late then, isn't it? Obviously, you're not going to heaven, Alan. Like, there's no hope for you to go to. Like, unless you repent, <laughs> there is no hope. Like, honestly, there. Unless you repent. There is no hope. It's too late to go all religious when the person that you've dehumanized is no longer with us. And what I'm saying is to you people that are still making films about me. Films? Are we still running? What's going on YouTube wise? Are we still running? We're still running, aren't we? We're still running. It says excellent connection. YouTube wise it's my computer tonight I think like I said it didn't update and for some reason all the windows that I have open it feels like the computer's having a bit of a chug it shouldn't it should handle everything but I think maybe because we did an update it's like emptied its cache or something and a lot of things that it had I don't know how it all works but do you know what I mean like the computer needs a restart doesn't it yeah it does basically but it's all good stop stop <laughs> Is this where we're at now, Alan? You're just like, stop. I don't like it. Stop. Is that where we're at? It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I'll give you the options. Apologise. Approach me with... Well, like, I can't approach you because it's harassment. But approach me, the email address, the comments, whatever. Approach me and uh, we'll talk about... Uh, if you want the email address, Alan, like if you don't know it... Uh, true by Noral at outlook dot com, um, or get one of your mods to talk to one of my mods in uh, Discord or something. Uh, but you know, make the approach. We will do content together. We'll work that out. Uh, Apologise, or just stop. Just stop. But you don't. You don't get to crawl under a rock and then grow again like a horrible moss or a, a fungus or you know some sort of uh, infection that we can't get rid of. You don't get to just start up again on your Tiki Toki and your rumbles and oh you got me banned off YouTube but I'll live on Tiki Toki infecting that with my nonsense. No, 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 it's horrible and it's even worse. On Tiki Toki is the one I want you to stop the most, Alan, because you're on there with the kids. What are you watching on TikTok? You should delete TikTok off your phone. I don't want to see TikTok on your phone. So, stop is a good option. Apologize is a big. Like, whether that, like, if you did a big apology and then carried on with your nonsense, um, I might be tempted to still cover some of your nonsense, but the big apology would go a long way. Uh, and then uh, my favourite of the choices is, uh, you know, work for me doing content on streams with me. That's my favourite. Stop. I've been so depressed this week. I would never hurt myself because I love my family too much. You love yourself too much. But there's people weaker than me that you can push over the edge. We're not pushing them. You, you, with your videos, can push someone over the edge. What, Eddie? And there's, like, if you don't believe me, Caroline Flack. Caroline Flack. Rest in peace, Caroline Flack. Now, Alan's going to use you your, I mean, what, you, something similar that he's got. They both struggled with cocaine, didn't they? But, like, you know, God rest, don't speak in the dead. But Caroline Flack, Alan, what? what? Eight contestants from Love Island. Numerous other people have committed suicide. They certainly have, yeah, Alan. And, you know, you are the sort of person that's driven people to feel that bad yourself on the internet. You're the one that's driven people to feel awful, frustrated, banging their heads against a brick wall. Um, can't put up with like, it's just so bizarre that you flip this around so that you're the victim of this and you just said you're not going to do this so why are you even leveraging this weird point Eight on, on that's not what's happening around here Alan what they were suffering what was happening to Caroline Flack and people like that is not what's happening to you the end on social media 
Hundreds of people have committed suicide due to hate on social media. Hundreds of children have killed themselves because of hate on social media. And yet you still do it. You still do it night after night, day after day. day. I, I don't give any children any abuse on social media, although you, Alan, on Smule... Day night after night. Until someone dies and then you go, well, it's nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with me. Or, may you rot in hell. Which There's is the worst some of them... ones. The worst ones, that ones that dehumanise somebody, and if they do take their life, they go, may you rot in hell. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know where this is leading. You don't know where this is leading because you're just rambling nonsense. But I know where it leads. There you go. That You thought that was poetic and clever, isn't it? It's poetic and clever because you're just making up words. And I ask you again, please stop making videos of hate about me. No. 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 That's not how this stops, Alan. No. Are you begging me? <laughs> Are we at a point, are we, are we literally, do I look bad now? Because Alan is literally begging me on the internet. Pay allegiance to your king, Alan. Pay allegiance to your king. Take the knee. Alan, take the knee. Pay allegiance. You know how we put, you know how we pay allegiance to the king round here? It's my droit de signeur. You know how we pay allegiance? Come and pay allegiance to the king, Alan. It's time to get the, in your mouth. Open wide. Pay allegiance to the king. You haven't even apologised. All this, all this time, you've still not even apologised. And don't believe that you're exposing me. There's nothing to expose. What are you on about? What about Mother Lick's cut off daughter's face? You self-exposed. What's on your hard drives? Every time you drop a little clanger here, say a little there, you get exposed more and more. Why did we find you singing with kids on Smule? If that wasn't exposing you, what do you think it was? What, are, we, are we wrong to it? Was there nothing? No, it's ridiculous. I've never been arrested. I'm a YouTuber, I was, that made some money like millions of other YouTubers. No, not in the same way as millions of others. You grifted it in a totally sick and twisted, weird way. There's people that are friends. Alan, you steal all your content as well. Like, all of it. You steal everything. You watch... Basically, your content is... If we did a pie chart, it would be 40% watching people's videos without comment, watching a documentary, watching the news. 40% somebody else did this in a video and I've stolen it. 20% moaning on about yourself. Like, there's no, no original Alan in any of it. Because of um, MPs in England... He's playing me. He's not playing me. I'm not buying any of this shit. <laughs> and nor are you. It's pity party. It's narcissistic uh, gaslighting. It's trying to play up the idea that he's the victim and he's sad when actually he wants the people that are watching his rumble to give him money and feel sad for him. And this week, what's happened is Bam Bam died. Whether What we'll know about behind the scenes and his closer connection with her, we will not know. You know, he's not going to tell us, is he? But whatever, it's made him, in my opinion, just question his own legacy, his own mortality. What's her legacy? Everyone, and this is the other thing. He can look at what everyone's saying about her on the internet, and some of them have, and say, wow, when, they've, when she's died, some of them have said, fuck you, I'm glad she's dead. Wow, that's pretty heavy. I hope they don't say that about me. Oh, they probably will. Now I feel even more sad. <laughs> He's got no videos on YouTube. He's got a load of crap on Rumble. No one cares. No one's watching. His TikToks are rubbish. He spends his time, in my opinion, probably masturbating over TikToks, but not of the true crime variety. And like, what's you know, what's it come to for Alan? He can't afford a Curris. No. It's it's his own doing, and he has to face his own. Like, you know, why should we feel so sorry for him? Why should we feel so so anything? It's his. Okay, at some point as a human, you have a bit of compassion, but this is this man's comeuppance. This is his crows coming home to roost. His chickens coming home to roost. This is his. Uh, 
he's sown his seeds as someone said in chat earlier um he should feel bad because he should face the, the things he's done and be left with the results <laughs> it's not my fault it's his fault and this is the result of it like it's not like i am not like, it's again narcissistic of alan to look around and say it's everyone else's fault alan's problem is the trolls Alan's problem is the gang stalkers. Alan, they wouldn't let him alone. It's everyone else who's bullied him. And it's not his own behaviour that's caused his problems. That's what he wants you to believe, or he has to try and fantasise in his own head. But the truth is, it's his own behaviour. It's his own problems. So nobody now, after the boy cried wolf a million times, is going to run upon the hill and give the, bo the boy a load of... Well, you know, he's going to get eaten by the wolf now. Like, sorry, Alan, but you've ruined your own... And it's not even as bad as he's making out, because he doesn't feel these emotions. Not really. Not really. He's a narcissist. I'm not dehumanizing him. It's a fact. <laughs> He's confusing some of his feelings or trying to confuse the audience about his feelings because the truth is <laughs> slightly different is he just wants more money. And like, if you honestly turned around to him tomorrow and said, look, OK, you feel bad now about all this stuff. Yeah. But what if we said you can have your YouTube back channel back a thousand people will turn up and you'll get 200 pound in super chats off Nancy. He'd say, yeah, OK, I'm happy now again. I suddenly I'm not depressed overnight. <laughs> he's, he's having to just deal with the consequences and they don't make him happy because his life isn't making him happy because he's ruined his life. I, that's not my fault. I'm just commentating on it as he complains about it on the internet. So buying masks from China and then selling it to the government because they're a friend of the government and made millions. Right? They're the ones you should go after. Not some old bloke of 70 that can hardly pay the rent. What are you doing it for? I should go after Boris Johnson instead. Alan, the reason I'm going after you is because you stole a video off a smaller channel that I was running and you uploaded it as your own content. You knew you'd done it. And when you were busted for it, you were derogatory about me in public. Come on, Stream Deck. Good luck with your channel, son. Good luck with your channel, son. And you still haven't apologised, and you plagiarised my work, and then things got a bit, you know, from there, dominoes started toppling, but that's where we're from. That's where we're at, Alan. Between you and me, it was either you attacked me on the internet until I was, like, in, like you were going to attack me and ruin my reputation and credibility on the internet, while at the same time stealing my content and saying it was yours. Yeah? So instead, now you're banned off YouTube and you're a lol cow, and it will not stop, because I'm going to, like, if I left, it's, at the moment, there's a bunch of us, it's not just me. You know, there's loads of other people who are now doing it, and there were people who were doing it before. Okay, yeah? But, like, we're going to hold you to account until you stop, because it's like, as I said before, it's like a, um, a, an infection that you don't fully take all the antibiotics for, and it, it springs back up, or a fungus that you think you've got rid of because you cleaned it off, but the, deep in the cracks, it's in there, and it, it springs back up. We're not going to let that spring back up. That's not happening. Like, if you got half a chance, you would try and do horrible, unspeakable things to half the people that uh, you feel have wronged you over the time. And not just YouTube things getting their channels taken off, but horrible things because you're a horrible man. So I'm not having that. I'm keeping you right down, right down where you belong. Yeah. What kicks do you get? Are you doing it for clicks? Clicks. We get a lot of views. We do. We have a lot of fun. I try to tell you what, I try and make it more comedic now, but these taking it serious i'm getting eggy like maybe you like it when i'm eggy do a poll we'll do a poll do you like it when i'm eggy this is the poll right do you like it when i'm eggy what i put what do you like should i be more eggy or funnis because i'm getting a bit eggy now because of him and he's twisting things but do you like it when i'm more eggy or i'm more funnis because we do have funnis as well don't we we have funnis He's got addictions, you're right. He's got addictions. Do you like it when more eggy or more funnis? Is that it for clicks? Clicks and or views and monies. Tippies. Sheer hatred. Tippies. Say it, Alan. Say tippies. You want to say tippies? Torture the battery boy. Say tippies. Say tippies, Alan. Say tippies. What's happened to my buttons? Where's my tippies buttons? Where's my button with tippies? Torture the battery boy. What? That's weird. Mm.
David Icke penetrate you with his penis? My buttons have crashed. I've lost some buttons. Maybe that was what was making it run funny. Where's my new button? They've gone. That must be what was making it run funny. The stream deck, because I've lost some buttons. Disgusting! I can only ask you to stop. Because I'm at the end of my tether with it. I Ending the pole. And Ed, the pole's chugging it now. Ending the pole. Funnis. They prefer funnis. I'll try and be more funnis. I am literally at the end of my tether. You can ask anyone that knows me. Good. I'm not the same you've been, person. You've been, you've been at the end of your tether before. Your little tether. Your little tether. Well, he's pushing people in the river, not doing it for you anymore, Alan. Is that not getting the stress out? What's going to happen when you get to the end of your tether? Narc rage is next. But this isn't this. This is sympathy party so that he can generate some income. And the thing is, if this is not this, if he legitimately is upset because someone died and he started to feel stuff, then he's dug his own hole because he's the boy who cried wolf. All I can assume, Alan, because of your track record, is this is pity party to try and grift some money out of the ladies so you can go and spend it on poker. And I bet you fucking did. And I bet you fucking do. And it's not necessary. You've dehumanised me. Okay, I'm oh, a monster. Enough. I'm a terrible person. I'm going to get my comeuppance. I'm going to have to pay millions. <laughs> you use the same word, comeuppance. Comeuppance is now a new word that we like. Comeuppance. To somebody because I've slandered them, right? Is that right? But would you wish this on your father? Obviously not, because my dad's not on the internet doing all the nasty things you've done, you dickhead. My dad's noble. <laughs> my dad lives by principles above uh, finance or above, like, like principles. Like, one of the things I've learned from my dad that carries me through life is that you're as good as your word and you don't break your word. And if you shake hands with someone on something, then you follow through and do it. And that's like, it doesn't matter about, like, contractual law or whatever. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. If you shake hands with someone on it, you promise you do it. You pay your debts, you pay your bills, you pay your, your you know, your bets if you made a bet. Like, I'm not a con man or a crook like you. Well, your brother. Would you wish it on anybody that you know? I mean, you and your peers, either someone from your crew or whatever, doxed my dad. So this got brought on my dad because of your arsehole crew. Or it might have been from a slightly wider area. It might have been from the Bin Bin crew. You don't know. Or whoever. Like, basically, Alan, like, I don't wish this on people around you or people around me. I wish this on you for your accountability for what you do. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> You cry your eyes out if someone says one word against you. I don't cry my eyes out when people say stuff about me. When Eddie went off and called me a dopehead and a popehead and I like the Pope because the Pope smokes dopehead and, like, you know, it called me that. I don't care. I don't. But when they say it about people that I stand with and admire, then I'm going to, like, defend them. But when people say it about me, I just... Uh, you know? Uh, but with you, like, ah, uh, well... How do I turn this into a joke anyway? Well, the man is a joke, isn't he? He's a walking, talking, lying, grifting, living joke. Got myself a smoking, doping, poping, smoking, smoking dope. Walking, talking, lying, grifting, living dope. <laughs> and what was he? <laughs> I've forgotten the first line now. That's the smoking. I don't understand why you do it. Yeah, he's probably in a hotel. Agree, Jess. Agree. He's probably in a hotel. I, it, all this pity party will be predicated on a massive lie that if you could see behind the green screen and you knew what he'd been up to... Because he's come to the stream and said, I couldn't stream this week because I've been sad. Whereas before it was, I couldn't stream at the week because I was busy with this or doing that. And the truth was, he was playing poker. It's always like that. He always covers... Something that's quite egregious, like a big debauched 
blowout. He always covers that with, I'm so sad, or oh, I'm so sad. Sorry I couldn't be there this week. I don't understand why you do this to an old man. I Good job, it. Alan. You don't think I don't see it? You don't think you don't see it? Of course you do. You're not... I don't, well, it, this is not to cause Alan alarm distress. This is for entertainment purposes on YouTube, for our fans, for what we do. Alan shouldn't see it because he's banned on YouTube. And I'm not assuming that he's watching. Legal disclaimer. But of course, I do think that a narcissist would watch anything and everything about him. And the reason he feels overwhelmed is because as time goes on, more and more, I mean, some people have drifted away, but more and more people still hate him and more people that are introduced to his content also hate him. So he has to watch an increasingly large amount of rubbish <laughs> that he thinks is bad. Um, are we still running? Are you all right in chat? Because I noticed I got a bit more of a, I got a little skip then as well. I don't know if it's OBS. OBS seems to sometimes want to overclock and like pump out too many kilobytes. I need to limit it in some way. I don't know. I do I mean, see it. I do see it. And I do have feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. It's just his fingers. Yeah, Alan, you do see it. You do have feelings. That's why we've got buttons like... And I hope I've still got this. AD, 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 AD! AD, 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 AD! You do have feelings, don't you? AD's sexual deviant. AD's a comman. AD's a crook. AD owes tax. Yep. Narc rage feelings. And now we're getting pity party feelings. But you don't have remorse feelings. You don't have apology feelings. Do you, Alan? I do have feelings. About yourself. What am I? The one on the left or the right? All your feelings are about yourself. You're both of them. The one on the left is you looking down. I didn't do... Now you've clipped the ear. That's as you look. I haven't faked you. That's what you look like. Look, you can see. Your glasses are in the same... Your, your mouth. Everything is... That's you. <laughs> I love it. It happened before as well. He picked out a thumbnail before that he really didn't like. And that was him. Just him. I changed the colour. Blown up the... Um, what you call it, the saturation on the colour, but otherwise it was him. In your eyes, am I the monster on the left or the normal human being on the right? Well, you're not the normal human being on the right anymore, are you? Because that doesn't look like you at all anymore. You've had that photo taken years ago and you still won't let it go. You are actually the, and this is, I know this is a terrible image and no one can tell any of the things on it, but you are actually the one on the left. Eh? Huh? How do you feel about that? How do you feel Why about that? How do you feel about an old man being betrayed like that? What is it you feel? Alan, that is, look, look at your neck. All you have to do is lean forward like that and that's it, there's the photo. How do you feel about it? Is it funny? Yeah. Because I don't look like that. Yes, you do. All the other hundreds of pictures you betray me as, all this... Money grabber. I don't, I don't earn any money anymore. <laughs> I bet the women that he's saying this to on Rumble have given him in the hundreds this month. Easy, behind the scenes. He gets them to do it on... He says now that he gets... Obviously, he doesn't want the super chats, right? Because otherwise he'd grift for them. But he obviously wants the money. He gets them to do it through PayPal Direct because I reckon he tells them it's safer, they can't see who you are and stuff like that. And he's basically got a private income stream of people who pay him direct to PayPal, which is fucking weird, isn't it? And I bet he tries to get away on the tax by saying it's gifts from, like, um, you know, friends or something. He's going to... You won't... You watch. Like, when he goes down in court and when the all the court business goes down and the orders to pay the HMRC they're going to take a deeper look and he could end up being liable for criminal proceedings on that front I really hope so because he deserves it look at him laughing this is the face of someone who's like uh, what's the word um, depressed no this is the face of the man who's just pretended he's not getting any money as a grift a liar 
who looks down when he smiles and laughs because he's lying. Duper's delight. Is it funny? Because I don't look like that. All the other hundreds of pictures you betray me as, all this money grabber. I don't earn any money anymore. <laughs> it's like, is there a way to stop you? Yeah. Is there a way for you to reflect on what's going on? No, 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 no. It's is you, it? Alan, who needs to reflect upon what's been going on. I suggest you go back and watch all of my videos. It'll take you hours, but you know, why not? There's a, there's a playlist. I suggest you go back and watch them. See what you did. See how you are the problem. Reflect on what you've done. It's not just me, is it? This is the thing. If it was just me and you, and I really dramatically, you know, focus on me here, because big me, big me, I'm the big one. I'm the narcissist now. Um, but like, there's you versus Grumpy Grannis. She's in chat. There's you versus Martin Dean. There's you versus Val. There's you versus Truth Justice. There's you versus, like, make the big list. Because you're the common denominator you're the problem. Yeah? So there are ways to make it stop, but it's not I should reflect upon my behaviour and just stop. If I did, it wouldn't have stopped because I'm just one person who makes content about how, how bad you are. And there's more of them. So I can't make them stop. We're not organised. We don't ring each other up. Oh, today I'm going to be doing a bit about Alan. I'm going to say this. So why about you say something about his daughter? Why don't you say something about his daughter? And I'll say something about what his, look, what his neck looks like when he pulls a face. Like, we're not doing that. You can't make it stop unless you change your behaviour. Because we are not like a conglomerate or okay i've had the news we're stopping the trolling today trolling is switched off everyone's got the news gang stalkers going into operation trolling switched off over like it's it, it's not that so you're being ridiculous anyway like who are you talking to do you think like it's it's so ridiculous that you think that uh <laughs> it's a behavioral problem alan the people are responding to your behavior so your behavior needs to change and the problem Alan has is, as he's a fully, you know, at this age, narcissist that he is, he ain't changing. He ain't changing. He's trying to fight the entire internet instead. That's what we've got to now. And okay, the entire internet is not bothered. But anyone that sees him on the internet, he's got this magical ability. Obviously, his rumble's not grown, has it? The number of people that don't like him seems to increase by the day. All the people from our end that I was streaming that ended up looking at him for fresh, none of them liked him. Like, he's not likeable. He doesn't have, like, it's all, <laughs> it's so weird that he can't understand this. Isn't it weird, actually? Alan is literally, uh, this is this is weird to me now, but it's, it's true. Imagine how many people are in our chat. Imagine how many people make comments. Like, shouts out you. Shouts out all you. Alan is against everyone. And it's him, Kaka, Melissa Marvelous, and... Welsh Pam versus everyone else and it's not because we're bullies it's because we're right <laughs> and Alan's going to fight he'd rather, he would rather tell everyone on the internet to stop <laughs> delusional pure delusion delusions of a narcissist because if I, if I told you all in chat now just to stop just leave it and I stopped and I went and did just not something else. I I'll go and be a cowboy. I'll go and just well, I'm going to be a vegan cowboy, so I'm not going to ride a horse. I'm just going to wander around in the, in the on the plains with my hat. Anyway, look, I'm doing that. It's not going to mean that Alan's life has changed overnight and everything's better. He's still going to be in the. Sh Are we rolling? Now I'm worried. No, we're still rolling, yeah. It's not going to be that Alan's life has changed overnight and he's better. It's going to be that uh, Alan's life is still just as bad and there are still, even if we all stop, he will carry on on the internet and he will offend someone else. And then he'll offend someone else. And then he'll have more people that start up again because he is the common denominator. Any way you can reflect on what you're doing now and stop. That's what people have asked. Can. That's what people have asked you to do for fucking years. I don't think you can because you live in an echo chamber of hate. No, I don't. I live in a semi-detached, normal house in a normal part of, of like Middle England. Do you know what I mean? Middle England. 
man's house is his castle. Like, but like, you know, I just live a normal life. I'm not like, we're not out there in some strange out there world. Like that's, that's another problem Alan's got is Alan lives in fantasy la la land and we're all normal people. And like, he's trying to fight the tide of normal people seeing for what he is. It's not an echo chamber. <laughs> Don't need the echo chamber, Alan. We just all think similar stuff. <laughs> well, you get all excited. They're watching AD now. Yeah. And they're going to run to their Facebook pages and their YouTube channel. We don't use Facebook. And make a video about this. Oh, he's, he's, he's throwing a pity party. There it is. He even said it. So I predict poker, poker party, picky pity party. He wants the money. Bam Bam died. He's going to grift Bam Bam's death for money. He's hoping that his... Viewers will see that he's sad. How, well, how can we stop Alan from being sad? Give him £100. That usually works. You can spend that on a very young hooker. He's throwing a pity pie, and then you'll laugh about it, and you'll all make horrible comments about me. And then you think that's okay. Guess where Wally is. Where is Wally? That's a good question in chat. You know, where do you think he is? I mean, I think we're all guessing that he's off playing poker somewhere and my guess is it's not international um people have said there's you know there's always poker going on around the uk and there's a certain circuit of places that he likes to go to um but he could be certain places he like, could also be malta he goes there all the, all the time uh, maybe he's stopping down in london high court london you know there's a good shout high court london vinny's coming soon um but it's it's just like alan's not been on recently as well like it's interesting because of course the foot on the neck approach that he has with his his moderators, his sorry, his viewers, his pay pigs, whatever they are, um, the foot on the neck approach he has is when he's not on the internet for a week, they're lost and they're abandoned and loose. So he has to, and he's not getting paid, is he? Because he's not going to be on there. They're not like some of them are probably giving him the money behind the scenes, like I think. But like he's had to come back and grift hard because he's not been on for a bit. Why has he not been on for a bit? Not because he's sad, because of bam bam. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It is ridiculous because even if he felt a bit sad because of Bam Bam, he could still pull his shit together and just talk for an hour about a murder. Like, it is a bit ridiculous. Like, Bam Bam is not his, like, you know, it's someone he knew on the internet who said some stuff and she was quite mean and negative about him quite a lot of the time. So, like, it's just, yeah. It's a scam, man. We'll listen to a couple of his songs at the end. We will listen to a couple, we'll, we'll brighten it up because there's. I've been going quite negative and there's five more minutes of this and then we'll listen to a couple of his songs to finish. We've got Tiptoe Through the Tulips and it's a scam, man. If the YouTube will work. Okay. It's abysmal. It's abysmal. It's black-hearted. And I think of the lady that took, that's taken from us this week. I don't know what happened to her. Nothing at all, do you? No, nothing. I know she was on YouTube, happy as a sandboy. She loved what she did. And like, you get like a community and you, you have your community and you look forward to talking to your community. And then suddenly someone throws you off YouTube. So it's a bit like you. And what if you're ill and you can't get out of the house and you just look at this TV screen like I'm doing now, but you haven't got your community anymore. You haven't got your friends. Then you shouldn't have been such a chuffer but you could just talk to them on Zoom. And you look at the screen. And you look at the wall. And you look at yourself. And all you hear is the voices in your ear of how bad you are. Uh, you hearing voices now? Oh, you shouldn't be here. Do you hear the Chuff Man at night? Alan. Ooh, ooh the Chuff Man. Oh, the chuffer man is coming at night to chuff and scare you and whisper in your ear. You're such a bad chuffer. You are a bad chuffer. Oh, Alan, you're a bad chuffer. You shouldn't have been so naughty. You shouldn't have been so naughty And now no one likes you Because you are just the sort of Naughty chuffer that no one likes Because you're bad Pay allegiance to your king, Alan Pay allegiance to your king It's time, Alan It's time 
pay allegiance to your king. Uh, what you have to do, Alan, is no more of this singing with kids on Smule, right? None of that. Obviously, doing streams with me and me doing streams with, like, a proper nonce, that would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? So um, we're going to have to worry about that. But everyone knows the deal with you and me, so I can get over that by saying, look, you know the deal with you and me. Let's get him on. Get on the stream. Get on the stream with me. Let's have some fun. Come on. Is it any wonder people no longer can cope? Oh, we used to have television, didn't we? You used to have television, didn't you? You still, you still have television. Television was great because you, you, you still have television. I know you love living in your fantasy dream world of the films and television, but you are not on television. You are a sad man living in your sad little hovel doing your grimy little... <laughs> I'm doing it again. Am I trying to do comedy or am I just being mean now? I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean. We've got hearts for Colette in chat. Big ups. Couldn't speak to the television. You couldn't speak to the television, no. Oh, yeah, you could write a letter to Points of View. Forgot his name now. Points of View. I don't... Terry Wogan. I like that so-and-so. So now... Oh, no, now. On YouTube, you can literally make a channel dedicated to hating someone. You can't, because you're banned. Just one person. He's not even famous. He's just... A not even famous. The infamous armchair detective. Like, a person that you don't like. And then you find other people that also don't like him. And you How is he putting this together in his head? It's just a person that you don't like. And then you find other people that also don't like them. And then you gang stalk. And like, has he not worked it out that it's your behaviour, Alan? <laughs> this is fucking bizarre. The way he's describing this whole, like, how this has happened. It's fucking bizarre. Oh, no, no. On YouTube, you can literally make a channel dedicated to hating someone just one person who's not even famous he's just a, like a person that you don't like and then you find other people that also don't like them and you form a whole gang of you that hate someone and you feed off each other but you're feeding the crocodile right you're feeding the crocodile thinking the crocodile won't eat me Oh, no, they'll eat the armchair detective. A crocodile will eat the armchair detective. But what about when he's eating the armchair detective and he gets hungry again? I won't name the channels, but he might look at you, Channel X. And the crocodile might come for you next. Eddie. And how will you cope with the hate? The lies about you're a P or you're Luke. a drug addict or you're a this or you're a that or you're a this or a that. Alan, Alan, we didn't horrible. make any lies. No one told any lies. Well, present. What about when the alligator looks you in the eye? The alligator. Now, that's clever because it's like an alligator, isn't it? Allegations. Or did he, I don't think he meant that, did he? Doesn't matter. Not so nice then, is it? Oh, it's nice when you when you're piling on someone. Who are you even talking to? <laughs> hating on someone, writing in comments with your little. Oh, someone's eggy! <laughs> He's eggy at you. He thinks the crocodile's going to eat you. He's eggy at you. Look at his face. Oh, with your comments, with your comments, you. It's you as well. He watches these videos. And he reads your comments, is what he's trying to say. Although I don't think he should. And, of course, this is just for not to cause him alarm and distress. This is fair comment on YouTube. Oh, it's nice when you're, when you're piling on someone, hating on someone, writing in comments with your little scared stiff whole bunch of cowards. I just wanted to say that. I just, just wanted to say, to say that. that. I don't even want to name the person, but I had to say something. What are, who are you not naming? Me or Bam Bam? Alexandria. It's a bit weird to not name anyone, isn't it? I've seen a number of people pass away. Right, yeah. On this What's Island thing. On the What's Island thing. 
I've seen a lot of dead people. What, you mean Chris Watts' family, maybe? You mean, the, I don't want to bring it up to make it, because it's still raw when you talk about it, isn't it? But, like, you know, the kids, Shanann, they, they passed away, didn't they? Do you remember? And the way you talked about them and the way you built all of your monies and... Oh, we're all in here to give me super chats. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, you know, all that. There's been a few people passed away, weren't there? You savage. And I wonder what legacy they left behind. What legacy will you leave behind, Alan? Debt. Search for you on YouTube. Search for you on Google. You'll see what you'll get. That's your legacy. You'll be known as a con man, a crook, failed in all business pursuits. The best thing he ever did was have kids because the women he had kids with, somehow, somehow, I don't, know, I don't know what they were thinking doing that with him, but somehow managed to get away with at least some reasonable you know, kids out of it. Like, I won't bring them into it and say horrible things about them, although like Vinny's Bar isn't everyone's favourite place, is it? It seems like, you know... Maybe, but look, anyway, Scarlet seems nice. Like, that's the best thing you've ever done. And it wasn't even you that did it. You walked out, like, you know, you weren't there doing it. You weren't there the one doing it. It was the, someone else raised your children for you and they did a better job than you ever could. Well done. That's your legacy. I wonder who's next. Who's next? To shuffle off this mortal coil. You. In this experiment on what island of hate. Top so who out of the Watts Island people will die next is what you're thinking. <laughs> That's what you'd like to think about. That's oh, I've been wondering, you know, how would I best eulogise this one YouTube creator that I've known for a long time. This is what he's done today. He's tried to finish the show. He said, look, there's a YouTube creator. She's died and she's died recently. I don't know anything about how she's died, but, you know, over the year, year, two, five years, five years, we've had our ups and downs, spits and spats. You know, here's a little bit of something... I could say about her, maybe positive, reflecting on that, maybe reflecting on the whole YouTube thing altogether and what an arsehole he's been. Instead, no, none of that. What we've had instead is, no, you should stop being mean to me. I wonder who will die next. <laughs> he's literally using her death to leverage for pity. Yeah. I've had a, a fund people raising money for three years to get rid of me. So even though I'm not on YouTube anymore, there's still a fund raising money to get rid of me. Really? I wouldn't have heard about that. You don't ever talk about it. What are you can do when I'm 80? You're still going to be chasing me. No, by then you'll be caught and dealt with. If I was 80 now, today, would you still be chasing me? Do you think the court case will still be going on when you're 80? Hopefully the court would have sorted you out by then. Do you get a kick out of it? He's kind of funny. Does it make you feel good? It's all right. Kick a man. Oh. I'm not kicking you. Old man, do it. Old man. You'd have to ask yourself that, Alan, because you're the one that's been delivering the kicks, proverbially, on the streets of YouTube for years until you got banned. How did it make you feel? You I don't feel that I'm doing much of that as well. I won't be twisted into that. I'm critiquing what you're doing. Fair comment on YouTube. And I think that you're a narcissistic bully. And I think that when you came and bullied me on the internet, I stood up to you. Um, you didn't expect this. I'm like a, I was like a rattlesnake or some. Uh, what, what would I be like? Like you thought I was little and small and insignificant, and you could just be like the biggest poppy over me. Um, and I turned out to be a lot more powerful than you thought, a lot more uh, capable than you thought. I don't know. You underestimated me massively. And that was to your own detriment. You're a creator. Does it give you a kick to make videos about me? Yeah, it's fun. Endlessly, hour after hour, month after month, day after day. As long as you're doing it. And you distort pictures of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that more now. You wait till you see your distorted face on the next one. You're not so good looking yourself. Me? 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 <laughs> look at me beard. I look like King Arthur. Get to fuck. <laughs> I'm the Sigma K. 
King Sigma. Look at me with my my face and my nose and look. Give me a kissy. Come and give me a kissy. Mm, mm, yeah, that's nice. You like that? Come and give me a kissy. Mm, that's nice. You like that? Me, I look good. I'm like Robert De Gea, De Niro, Richard De Benedict Cum Cum Nick's daughter off Cum Mother's face De Batch. I'm all right. <laughs> Look at my cheekbones. The whole world hangs off your cheekbones. Look at the cheekbones, Pats. Shut up, you. Look who's talking. You look you look like one of the gremlins. <laughs> you look like a man made of pork sausage stuffed into a sock. You look like someone made a snowman out of mints. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> You're coming at me. You're coming at me. I'm George Clooney having one of those coffees out of that machine. Yeah, that's me. George Clooney having one of those coffees out of that machine. <laughs> you look like roadkill. Come on. This ain't fair, this now. We're not doing this. <laughs> you look like the chef went a bit balmy and made someone's face out of pate. You look like one of your paintings. <laughs> you look like one of the police recruits who's been having fun on the photo fit machine. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Me. Me. I'm fucking... I look like Jon Snow. I'm the hero. I don't like Jon Snow. I mean, me? You look like Wiley e. Coyote's bumhole. Got two eyes drawn on it and started talking out of his bumhole. Me? You look like Gollum's dad. Me. This is going to be a bad one, but I'll say it anyway, because I'm a savage. You look like Harry Potter's rapist. <laughs> now we're getting into Frankie Boyle territory. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you look like a Subway sandwich that got left out in the sun. Me. You so ugly. You so ugly that you visited the zoo and they tried to put you back in one of the cages. You so ugly. <laughs> Me. Me. I'm that one in the film, look. I'm King Arthur in the film. <laughs> Me. You look like the inside of a belly button. You look like a belly button's got a face. Belly button with glasses and a hat. That's what you look like. 
Me? You look like someone inflated a scrotum with a straw and drew eyes on it. Me? I can distort pictures. You you can distort pictures. That's how you got all that evidence for some of the stuff you did on your YouTube shows. That's how you did your shadows. I no longer trust the police. They don't do anything. I no longer trust the police. Did you send them that picture? <laughs> I certainly don't trust lawyers. All they want is your money. Yeah, lawyers are no good because you haven't got any monies. I don't trust YouTube. YouTube banned you. <laughs> Who'd you turn to? You've lost. <laughs> do, you, do you not understand, Alan? YouTube agreed with us. You got banned. There was once you tried to take down one of our videos and it got reinstated. The, the nonce one, Alan Sings With Kids. Angry Alan's not a nonce, that video. The uh, YouTube agreed and put it back up. They said Angry Alan probably is a nonce. Put it back up. To paraphrase, um, the police thought it was absolute rubbish, shouldn't have wasted their time. If you waste their time with it anymore, they'll go back on you. Uh, so the police, no go for you, yeah? Lawyers, defamation, you could go for that, but you know the system, you know how it works, you've been looking into it yourself, we would win. And it would be expensive for you. And you can't even afford it anyway. So what has happened, Alan, is you've lost. You've been banned off YouTube. <laughs> you've been banned off YouTube. You've been... <laughs> The police have told you to shut up or they're going to come at you with criminal charges back on you. And uh, the lawyers, well, you know, as you've said, that's a bridge too far and you will probably lose. Will most likely lose. Definitely lose. I can afford better lawyers and I'm right. <laughs> so you've lost. What do you do? What do you do now? Come and eat it out of my hand? Because you've lost. I can offer you money. I can offer you time on the show. I can offer you big numbers, a few bucks, all that that you want, all that attention you crave, but you can't do this nonsense anymore. It's done. You will keep doing it, and we'll keep covering it every now and then on a Friday for a bit of a laugh. And that's you. You're a laugh. You're a ridicule. You're a lol cow. Figure of ridicule on the internet. As I explained to the police, Alan Vinicum is a figure of ridicule on the internet. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off now and I'm going to be looking at the wall again. <laughs> Where are you? You don't have to switch it off and look at the wall again. I mean, right now, you can't jump on this show, but if you wanted to contact me, you could jump on Twitch. We could have a right banter and a laugh. We could have a right go, couldn't we? Oh, you can't hack it. Alan can't swing. Alan can't handle it. Alan can't handle it. Sorry, Alan. Look at the wall instead, then. I think he might be away somewhere, like I said. Like, you know, maybe he's on his poker holiday and there's no one for him to hang out with because the other people on the poker tour think he's a nonce and don't want to hang out with him. And maybe he's not in some swanky hotel where it's all, you know, casino and all that. Maybe he's just up somewhere near, like, you know, in, in the UK, poker tour might go to some places and, like, you know, maybe he's, he used to go and stay with a certain someone, but maybe she's not there now or whatever. But, like, maybe he's just staying in the travel lodge and maybe it's not that glamorous and that fun. And maybe it's a bit sad, actually. And maybe even the poker thing isn't going to give him the, the feelings he wants. So he's grifted for it on the internet. He's begged for it in terms of uh, doing the pity party. I can expect some of those ladies might say, oh, Alan feels bad. Maybe we should talk about him afterwards. Big ups, Julie DJ. Big ups. Nice to have you in chat again. I'll give you a button. I've got a button for you. But sadly, the button's... Some, I've lost some of my buttons. They're still, I've still got all the sound, the sound files, but I've lost some of my buttons. It's a bit sad, really. A bit weird, that. Alright, still got the classics. <laughs> Do 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 do
do do do do do do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, Alan's worked hard tonight, hasn't he? Really. He's done his crime show where he got to talk about really the most horrific crimes done to children, which he really enjoyed. That gave him a bit of a buzz. And then, uh, I mean, we didn't cover that. We skipped over that bit. And then he's moved on to how sad he feels that someone else died and he is not where he wants to be in life. And that's bad for him because he's not where he wants to be in life. And that's him. <laughs> So it's not my fault. <laughs> I came in quite quite late to the, the, the party with you, Alan, didn't I? But thankfully, I was there for you to be mean to me on the internet. It's not my fault. Again, I, don't, I feel like Alan tried to twist all this. The summary of tonight is Alan tried to twist all his problems and point them at everyone else and say everyone else is at fault, but they're not. And he's smiling cheekily inside because he's grifting those ladies He's doing the pity, he's piling on the sadness. Bam died, maybe they'll give me money. And he wants the money because he's bored in the travel lodge, pissing away money into the poker app while he waits for whatever he's doing the next day. Uh, it's not a nice life for Alan. Good. <laughs> I hope he takes me up on the offer of coming on a stream. It would have to be on Twitch because he's banned off YouTube. And uh, I will pay him to work if he fancies that. But he doesn't. That sounds like a bridge too far for Alan, doesn't it? Being paid to work. He wouldn't like that, would he? You know. I loved my YouTube channel. I yeah. loved our community. I loved my 100,000 people. That You loved the money and you loved the status that you perceived that you had. But it was all an illusion, Alan. It wasn't big and real and sustainable and long term. It was because at the right time, at the right place, you said what a load of people kind of wanted to hear. And you knew yourself a lot of the time you were making it up and showmanship and grift. So because people were locked in at home and because there was a big thing on the Netflix about Chris Watts and because you were there to do it and because you had people behind you as well, like Bubbles, Bubbles and other, you know, other people basically handed you a lot of stuff on a plate and you stole it from other people as well. Like you managed to do something which even though you did it in all the wrong ways, you managed to make a certain level of success out of it and you've pissed it all up the wall and thrown it all in the bin all down the toilet. I've had a hand in it, Martin Dean's had a hand in it, Val's had a hand in it. Oh yeah, we've all been like chipping away at, you know, Fortress Allen. But really, the one who's fucking done it is you. You have to take it all responsibility on the chin yourself. You've done it all the wrong way. You've reaped what you've sown. You are now in this position and it's all on you. And so I'm glad that I was there to try and help take you off YouTube. If my complaints and reports about the homophobia or the uh, sexism or the ageism or all that stuff, you know, if they help to take you off YouTube, good. You know, I'll... I'll I'll wave my, my banner and say that I'm glad that I was a small part in it. But as I said, when you did get taken off, I think lots of other people contributed too. So everyone can take a little bit of a part of that and say, yeah, I did that too. You know, I reported him. I think he was bad. Um, and so you've done that to yourself because you've made all those people hate you over the years and the cuckoos have come home to roost. And there you are. <laughs> all loved our study group. No one loves your study group. They liked it until they saw the truth and then it went in the bin. It's no longer there. So I'm just left. I'm just left. High and dry. Yeah. Income stream. <laughs> Status. <laughs> yeah. Left high and dry. It's a good way to put it, isn't it? It's quite a good way to put it. That's... You're, um, that's you there singing with kids that is there you did that uh, what you're basically saying is that you like you have you need a supply of resources in a way don't you Alan narcissistic supply financial supply the status thing you know narcissistic supply like, no you don't have that now you've got your pension you're not going to go poor I'm not putting Alan out into the street here he's got his pension his pension will cover a certain like level of, you know, whatever, his accommodation or whatever. He's, he's, you know, but no, you're not going to be a big chuffer on the internet and you're not going to be a big famous man and write a book. No one's going to think you're great and you're not going to get loads of monies. No. So go and have like two for one at like Tesco value meal and put your money on your sky bet. Get eggy at the lady at the bar. Try and grope up 15 minutes down an alley for 15 can you do 15 minutes for a tenner that's your life now enjoy it that's all i wanted to say but i wanted to say 
I do know about the person who's no longer with us. What do you know about? You said you didn't know anything about her. or You said you didn't know anything about how she died, yeah? But you do want to say you know about it. But that's not what you said. And uh, I don't know what happened. If no, I, you I, don't know. You don't know. That person I love now. I know it's all civil. Not much of a detective then, are you? But I have a fund being raised to destroy my life. And it goes on forever. It'll be there tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Pity party. Get Alan Vinicum. Let's all get Alan Vinicum. <laughs> Can you hear the narcissist? Unlike some of the others that commented on Bam Bam's death, Alan has turned it into a Get Alan Vinicum campaign. The lady died, and your your take from it, your you know your sort of, uh, <laughs> I'm still struggling to get my head around it sometimes. The lady died, and your sort of thing you want to leave your audience with, you know, you said you wanted to do a special sort of piece at the end, is Get Alan Vinicum. <laughs> They all want to get Alan Vinicum. Well, I hope you enjoy yourselves. <laughs> we do. I certainly am planning to this year. If you want to have some fun as well, Alan, the door is wide open. You can come on a Twitch stream. I'll give you I'll just all it'll be is you send me an email. Hi, it's Alan. I've thought about your offer. I'd like to take you up on it. And we'll start off with something real simple. Real simple. Just on Twitch one night, I'll send you a link. You can just jump on. You got the computer. You got your setup. Follow the link. Yes for camera. Yes for microphone. You're in. You'll be on my screen. On my. You'll be here, but it'll be you. Yeah, just like it is here now. And then you'll hear me talking, and I'll talk to you, and we'll have a bit of a chit chat. Say we'll do forty minutes to an hour. We can come up to with an idea about what you want to chit chat about beforehand. Maybe there's some things that are off limits. I don't know. Um, but everyone will want me to ask you loads of questions. We won't do a big interview. We'll save that for later. Hey, I should really start with it in case you bail on me and never talk to me again. But I'd like to do a big interview one of the days. All the questions, all the tough questions. Alan Vinicom answers the tough questions. Wouldn't you like that? Wouldn't you actually like that? You can be you and I can be me and Alan Vinicom answers the tough questions. Tonight on Panorama, Alan Vinicom answers the tough questions. That would be cool. And then we can do another one where it's Alan's top 10 movies and Scott's top 10 movies and we argue about which should go in the top 10. And that would be funny because it would be you and me talking about some, like with Top Gear. You know, on Top Gear, Top Gear, Top Gear. I'll be, yes, I'm tonight on Top Gear. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. And in the passenger seat with Richard Richard Hammond, it's Alan Vinicum. Tonight on Top Gear. Right, well, no, yes, no, no, no. Jeremy Clarkson. Right, we can do Top... Yep, good luck with your channel, son. We can have fun, though. We can do a little task, a little quiz, something like that, a little task... You know, and you'll go about it your way and I'll go about it my way and I'll tease you and you'll egg me. And then at the end, it'll have been an hour of fun and you can just turn off the stream at the end. And then your payment will come through on PayPal. Cha-ching! Alan Vinicum's got monies. He can spend it on the poker. Yes! I'm not going to stiff you. All those super chats and tippies that happen, I'll take them all for me. I'll give you the money we arrange. The cash, the monies. Well, I think we should start out at 20s, really, because there's no guarantee it works. But maybe 40 for an hour. You know, that's quite a good rate for what you're doing, £40 an hour. I think it's a lot. I think we should start at 20s. That's the debate. That's the discussion we have. That's the start point. If it goes well, we can raise the price. Yeah? If it goes well, you can negotiate your contract. But basically, it's Alan's Mad Hour with Scotty Hottie on a stream. It's nothing heavy. And we'll go from there. It's just easy. Just come on for a chit chat. What's wrong with you? And like, what I really want to do is the big interview. Tonight, Alan Vinicom answers the big questions, and I'll take you through it all. And you know what it all is. And you'll have a, you'll, I'll line you up. I'll, I'll show you the questions in advance. I'm not going to side, side swipe you. 
I've, you know what all the things are people don't like and are aggy about. I'll get Martin Dion and Val to write the questions with me. Whoa. And then we'll write them all out, a big list, send them to you. You can prepare for the answers. I will ask you them. You can answer them. I will ask you a secondary question about what you've said. And then you'll say what you think. And then like Jeremy Clarkson, I'll be a bit eggy and then move on. And then we'll do the big interview. And for that, you can be paid. Can't do it on YouTube. Can do it on Twitch. You can be paid. But, you, as people are saying in chat here, I think, you're a coward, aren't you, Alan? And you're not going to do this. But it's such a shame because wouldn't that be loads of fun? And you said about how depressed you were and about all these problems. Well, I'm the one that you were like wants to stop. So if you're on the show with me, then I won't be making a video about you being a massive weird nonce and doing this. like Because you'll be on the show with me. So then you'll be on the show with me. <laughs> like then it might change. I won't say stop. I'm still going to say negative things about you. We're still going to have a laugh. I'm still going to give you a poke and a banter. You've got to be able to take it. But, like, just like Jeremy Clarkson, you can be Richard Hammond and I'll be Jeremy Clarkson. Or if you want, you can be James May. But I'm still Jeremy Clarkson. And then you have to take it and then we have fun. Like, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad. So that's an open door there. Like, you don't have to be suffering like this. Don't think Super Chuff is such a bad man. All your Chuffers, all your fans, all your, well, Kaka and that other lady, and the five or six of you that, that you and your five or six people can see what I'm saying. Nosy Nana can come on with you if you need someone to hold your hand. Like, what's so bad? I've opened the door there. I've, I've changed the, the game. I've changed the, the dynamic. Changed the game. Made an offer. Making you an offer you can't refuse. Well, you obviously can and probably will refuse it, but right. one day, yeah, one day, I'd agree with that as well. One day he will be desperate enough. Jersey girl, big ups to that. One day he will be desperate enough. Talking of desperate enough, am I desperate enough to give out some, or have I given them out this month? Come on, the mouse. Why did that stop the computer? Membership gifts. Have five gifts. Have that, you chuffers. My gift has been announced in chat. Have that. Pick up a gifted membership. Go and watch some of that cheeky content. Enjoy that, you chuffers. There's a gifted membership for you chuffers. And you can go and watch the, the uh, Battery Exhausted members content, which is too raw for the... Like, and honestly, some of it is too raw for the internet, so do go and watch it. You'll enjoy it. Um... But yeah, Alan, and we could build that. The thing is, Alan, I should really drive this home, is at the moment you're worth small potatoes. You are a little nothing, messed up rubbish. But with my direction and guidance, and I don't want to ruin you, I don't want to have you on one stream, make you look like an idiot, make you cry, and then you never come back. That's not what I want to do. I want to build so that we can create a sort of, like the antagonism between us. The fact you don't like me and it's legitimate and real, like that's going to create interesting and um, like the content, like do you know what I mean? Like having two people who get on is one thing, but two people who don't like, like Chris Eubank and Nigel Ben, put them in a room, they'll argue over tiddlywinks. We'll all watch it. Like this is going to be fun. It could it could work, and then we could build it to something slightly bigger. It's really difficult without YouTube, of course, but we could have a, an event stream where we do a thing and like. You know, you'd be enjoying it and you could have your people and, you know, do you know what I mean? Couldn't it be fun? I don't know. I, I, I'm trying, I'm, maybe I'm trying to oversell this, but I want it to make it clear because all the people that Alan's trying to drift and manipulate, oh, well, we've done a, another stream tonight, another two and a half hours about why Alan's bad. Well, yeah, but haven't I been nice and offered an olive branch? Huh? Haven't I been nice and offered an olive branch? Why doesn't he offer, like, next time he talks about this rubbish, I want to, I want to hear him. The reason I won't go on Super Chuffer's show. The reason I won't go on and talk with Super Chuffer like grown-ups. The reason I won't go on and talk like grown-ups. Or even have fun. Or even mess about. Or even... Uh, even like a debate. Or a, you know... Oh no. Two grown-ups having a debate. Donald Trump does it with chuffing Joe Biden. And they're completely... They don't really even... Like, why, why such a coward? So I want him to answer that. Why such a coward? Why no engagement? Like, if he wants me to stop, I've offered him... Number one, he needs to do the apology. 
Number two, he could just shut up and not do any more content. And number three, he could join me on a stream. And we could go from there and build it into something slightly bigger and better. And he's got no chance on his own, because he's. this is what he's done to his content, is he's driven it completely into the ground. So without me, at the moment, who's going to help him make better content? Who's got any idea about what they're doing? Nobody in his life can do any helping him whatsoever. He's driving his own situation right into the ground. So this is his last lifeline. Uh, he should really take it. He really should seriously consider it. Not just get angry and throw something up the wall and get tetchy. And if he's listening now, Alan, you should really... And I'm not talking to you to cause you alarm and distress. I'm not even assuming you're watching this because you're banned off YouTube. But if he were watching now, I would say to him, right, really seriously consider this. Really seriously consider this. Because it's an opportunity for you to move onward and forward into something better than the nonsense that you're doing now that you and I both know you've driven into the ground. So it's only one day every now and then on a stream. It's not going to bite you. So there you go. I've been more than nice to this grifter, yeah. And I, I, you're right as well, Jersey Gal. I had the opportunity to cause Alan actual problems not alarm and distress but i could have shown them all of the uh it's still a card that i hold you know there's no statute of limitations on a crime like that um but i could have shown them all of the malicious communications and said go around and punch him on the nose please like proverbially but no i've not tried to make his life terrible and hard i've just said things on the internet that are true <laughs> and it, we all know why and where and what but um, i'm hoping you know i'm hoping i've got my fingers crossed that alan might realize that it's a good idea to come on a stream and have some fun. And it's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be any deeper than that. I'll give him the 40 quid. He can go away and say, well, at least I've made 40 quid for the hour. Because I don't know how much he made on that stream. But that's, the, that's what he's got for them. And it goes on forever. He'll be there tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Get Alan Vinicum. Let's all get Alan Vinicum. We can call it that. Well, I hope you enjoy yourselves. And those that support me, I thank you for your support, as always. I'll be back. Good night. Like the Terminator. Yeah. Uh, so we could call it that. We could call it Get Alan Vinicum, like Get Carter. Get Alan Vinicum. And what could happen is here's a format. I've got so many ideas. Got so we should do a bit of a brainstorm now. We should do a bit of a brainstorm about ideas for a show. So if you've got any ideas for a show, let's have them now in chat. Let's get some ideas going. I'm thinking get Alan Vinicum. I could do uh, once a week. Alan has to show up to an interview with someone that doesn't like him, and we can start with Val. I mean, I'll pay Val very heavily for this. <laughs> like she could take a week off hairdressing. I'll pay her very heavily for this. <laughs> Um, but like Val, I mean, obviously, it's, I'm only joking. I'm not going to pay her thousands and thousands, but you know, I'd like to pay Val monies for a time. Um, and Val could be the question master for a week, an hour is questioning with Val. And then next week, it's get Anne and Vinicum, and it could be someone else. It could be Martin. And then next week, it could be someone else. And I can get people lined up, and, and in the end, they'll pay me to ask him the questions. So I'll make I'll make bank. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, I hope I've done a good thing, Julie. I mean, the stuff about the kids, I'll be real about it, yeah? I don't think that Alan, in a day-to-day -day sense, goes around looking for children so that he can do horrible things to them. I don't think he's, like, technically a sort of dyed-in-the-wall pedo. But I think, as a narcissist, he is the sort of... Per I mean, we've seen it. Um, he will use anyone and anything for personal and financial gain. So if he's stumbled across a way of selling pictures of kids on the internet or obtaining videos of kids through a karaoke app and then selling them on in some, or, or getting anywhere deeper and closer to the kids and making them do things and selling that on, I think he'd do it for money. And I think he wouldn't even think of himself as a pedo necessarily, or maybe he would get off on it, I don't know, but like, you know, whatever. The point is, that's the thin end of a wedge just doing the thing with the kids on the app. That's weird and fucking weird. But, uh, like, I wanted to stop him from being on the internet. Uh, I, I, one of the things about it is, like, when someone told... This is what happened with Eddie recently, is that Eddie told a lie about me that was, like, stone cold... He told a couple that were, like, stone cold lies. And I thought, well, now that I can see that you're doing a lie, because you're doing it about me, 
now I understand that you're a liar and all your other content is tainted. I just, I want no part in you. You're horrible. And like, Alan was the same. Like, my first contact with him, because he could have, he could have, when I said to him, all I said was in a comment, this is my video, here's the link. You've probably made a mistake. Why don't you take it down? And I notice you've done 20,000 views. That's probably about 200 quid or whatever. Can you give the money to a charity? That would be really great. And we had all this. Like, he could have gone about it such a different way. I didn't go in hard and to be mean. But then when I learned more about him, everything I learned, I as he said, exposed. But there's nothing to expose. Although there's been over a year of it. <laughs> So how has there been that much to content to talk about if there's nothing to expose? Martin's been doing a great job of exposing it. Val, other people, like, you know, there's been people exposing it. So it was there for me to cover as well. So I'm not like, you know, the only one, do you know what I mean? In any way, like, I was able to sort of stand on the shoulders of giants there. But I did actually do my fair share of exposing some stuff as well. So, um, and it's Alan. Alan did all the stuff. So there we go. It's not my fault. Um, you know, it's been a bit of a wild ride. Uh, you want me to play poker with him? That's a good idea. Alan's mallet's mallet. Alan versus... M mallet's mallet would be good because he's got to think on his feet. He's got to be quick with that. Um, he was offered 10 grand to go on a panel and he ran like a sewer rat. Yeah, but he was pretty... Thought he was special there. This is different. That was his band memorial. Yeah, Jana, that was his band memorial. Um, the, uh, the situation he's in now is getting more and more dire. And his status, his ability to th feel like he's a real person, like... Like you said, the dehumanisation. It's not just that thumbnail. It's that Alan used to think of himself as a special detective on the internet. I don't know how he got this into his head, but he did. And now that's gone. He doesn't have his restaurant. He can't pretend he's got a special... Oh, come to my beachfront bar and get a free latte and I will have status because of this building. Like, it's none of that. He's got nothing. So when he meets someone in the pub or in the park and they say, oh, what do you do? Or what's happening with you? What you know? What are you up to? He says, "I'm a useless bum, and I'm going through a, a court case that could mean I lose everything. <laughs> I, I've ruined my entire life and driven it into the ground. Nobody wants to talk to me or be around me. I, I grift several old ladies on the internet for money. Like, it's just so horrible and sad. Like he can't admit it to himself, so he lives in a narcissistic, delusional dream world. And the problem is he's got with denial. We've looked at denial on thus. Um, is that it's coming shattering? Like it's harder and harder to live in the denial because the reality is more and more potent and real. So he's really struggling with that as well. Really struggling with it. Um, so I think uh, my, what I'm offering him gives him, and he's going to hear this, and I don't care if he wants to hear this. It doesn't shatter the truth. Like you know, so, it won't he'll still be able to live in the denial even if I state it like this because he's hardcore. Um, but what it gives him is the ability to say, oh, I'm doing a show on the internet where I entertain and argue with this guy and like, you know, we're like chalk and cheese and like, he's an idiot and this is why. Like, you know, he can at least live in that world then, can't he? Like, I get paid. Like, his people, when he does the show with me, if you tippy me on this, I'll take the tippies. Thank you. But he can have his own tippy link. Like, his friends and followers can tippy him instead if they want I mean, that's open I'm not going to deny him that am I um, maybe I'll be helping him to make money and that's awful but uh, in the longer term like it's all he's got it's his only option and I'll be in control of it so I'll be interested to just go on that wild ride and I'd drive it towards the big interview that's what we're looking for a few fun streams the banter back and forth can we turn it into a bit of a top gear thing who knows where that could go but really, the big interview is what I'm interested in. And I'll state it today, you know, I'd like it written in. Let's do four fun streams, then the big interview, and then let's reassess. Um, so I'm the one that's got the, the following on the internet. I'm the one that's, you know, growing my YouTube presence. And I'm the one that's going somewhere with my content. Alan's got nothing, so... Uh, it will allow him to live in that fantasy dream world of being someone and having something happening. Uh... I mean, ultimately, you, I'm the nicest person that Alan's ever encountered. I've, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, out of all the people, like, I could have my foot much harder on his neck, in a way. He doesn't even realise it. And I'm offering him so much, despite being someone that... Uh, th like, I should look and say, there's no way he should have another penny. I should completely cut him off financially. But I'm actually offering him money when he's at his lowest ebb. So, 
I don't know why he doesn't take it. The Muffin Mud! Should we do that to finish? Let's, we're going to do two Alan songs to finish. We're going to have him sing two songs, which will then ruin me for copyright. And uh, I want that Muffin, Muffin Man song as well. I want that Muffin Man. Let's have that. And as long as my... I don't know why my computer's crapping out. Let's have the Muffin Man meme. Okay, that's not loud enough because... Hurry up, YouTube. Some. Not that. This. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> Big ups to uh, Eddie's vinyl break and his muffin man handlers. I've got something to talk about that in the future. I'll probably make a video. I've got to get off my ass and make a couple of videos. So this weekend, tomorrow is the weekend and I like to play video games. But I've got to get off my ass and cut a little cheeky video. I've already written a bit of a script about it. So tomorrow I might just make that video, drop it on Super Chuffer. It'll be a weird one. It'll be a sideways thing. Like, all the building work I've been doing with the Nicola Bully, it'll be a different uh, a different perspective on a different idea, but just a random... Got to get it out there, and then we can talk Eddie um, again. So that'll come. Check out, you know, find me on uh, on Twitch. Those who don't know, at Ganji Kid, if you fancy it. That's where... It's like a content cauldron. We just sort of bubble under there and then we watch videos and things happen. Sometimes we jump on stream like this, like we did tonight. But over on YouTube here, of course, you know I'm battery exhausted. So, and you know I'm super chuffer. I don't have to sell that. You know who I am. Subscribe, you chuffers. If you've got a friend who has a similar sense of humour or you think might understand or like, or even you might want to ruin their life by infecting them with this nonsense, then show them the Alan playlist. I've got the playlists. Showed them the playlist for the Armchair Detective, the saga, the yeah, Alan Vinicom saga, because they can start at the start then, 11 months ago it is now. It's been nearly a year. Me and Alan are nearly coming up to our anniversary of me knowing who he is. And look how it's gone. Next year could be incredibly different, Alan. For you, Alan, this last year, if you're still watching, it's gone down and rubbish and, oh, it's been terrible. Right, there's a reprieve here, though, a reprieve. I'm offering you a reprieve. Just a little bit of fun. Anyway, anyway, um, check out that playlist. And also, obviously, you know who I am on Super Chuffer on the main channel. And we're going to have a good year this year. Steve's back is, uh, he's been doing the hydrotherapy now and stuff. He said, slow progress, but pro progress, but the operational word is slow. No problem. We're building, I'm building a little uh, cool set in my bag of tricks, cameras and kit and ideas and we're going to go into operation later on in this year and we're going to start improving the, the level of quality on Super Chuffer. you'll see so I hope you're all going to be there for that um, of course all the new members tonight thank you very much for the membership bombs from Redfan thank you very much for the tippies thank you very much for all the support as Alan says and make sure to check out the members content if you remember and you've renewed thank you very much when you renew people do and I'm not there to say thank you but thank you for doing that I'll endeavour to keep providing members content simply there was no promise for it but I'll do it simply based on the fact that you are there and you are supportive I'm glad because it's like a longer term you know people have been members for months 
that I can see that as like a consistent thing um, and that can really help us to grow. So I'm really grateful for that. And if you're watching this offline and it's been stuttery, stoppy, starty, I'm really um, sorry for the technical issues tonight, which I appear to be having another one right now. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah, we're all good. You're all good. We'll finish on a couple of songs, like I say. So, not to get me binned off YouTube, but over on Cheddy's Naughty Vinyl, Sentries, a certain Alan Vinicum has had his songs uploaded. I've been uploading them in uh, Never Seen Before in HD, widescreen. So, we can watch a couple of these. Uh, we'll finish, we'll, we'll do Tiptoe first, and then we'll finish on Beds Are Burning. You love this shit. I know you do. Obviously, this was on Smule, where all the kids were doing the karaoke, and, you know, he was obviously not trying to appeal to kids on Smule, was he? This was Alan... I mean, I, What? job goodbye all you be good hate? You and if you hate when you're the last man standing if you can't be good be naked in your echo chamber who are you gonna look to the hate only you left hate yourself hate yourself when you burn all your bridges so hate hate yourself Take your share of the blame. Stop the hate. The time has come. Facts are fact. A facts are fact. The hate belongs to you. Now take it back.
clapping in our hands. How do you sleep? Right, and then this is a little doggy. This is because I can't leave you like that. Listen, I can't leave you like that. So this is a little doggy. So, uh, this is from Shoe and Tree. They're a YouTube channel called Shoe and Tree. They're very popular. They're Korean. Oh, look, it's little doggy. So you couldn't tell it's a doggy because look at its look at all its fur. Look at all look at it. Oh, it's little doggy. So what's going to happen to the doggy? It's going to have a haircut. It's going to have a little doggy's haircut. And that's going to be nice. Look. It's having a little haircut. It's standing nice and still for that. It's all you can keep careful, yeah, careful around there. Look at his little face. Was it he or her? I didn't spot it. I wasn't looking like Alan. Uh, it's, look at his face. Look at his little face. And a little clip. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, nice and steady around your eyes. You want to be able to see. Look at that delicate work with the scissors. Let's get that out of your eyes. Oh, look, he's falling asleep. Oh, your ears. I love the way they're so confident around the ears. I mean, they're dog groomers, so they know, don't they? But oh, little twiddle there. Confidence around the ears there. If you, have, if you do this yourself, be really careful. Look at that, what scissor work? It's all with the shear as well, it's with the thinning shear. About creating shape. Well, he's been picked up now, you've been picked up. <laughs> very good, very good dog is this one. Look at it, just chillis. I suppose it's an edit, so you don't see that. It's, oh, it's very good falling asleep there. Little face. Look at its little face, that was before and after. Oh, oh you've been good. You've been good, you can have a little biscuit. You can have a little biscuit. Oh, is that your mummies? Is that your where's your mummies? Is your mummies coming? Where's your mummies? Just waiting. Look, they're waiting at the hairdressers. Oh no, is that your mummies? There's your mummies. Oh, there's your mummies. The, the mummies has got two that's been in. Look, there's your mummies. Oh, there you go. You're getting picked up. Go in the bag. That these get. They go in the bag. I bet they do. There you go. So it hasn't all been hasn't all been bad. I couldn't lead you down a dark alley like that with all the Halloween stuff going on with Alan. It hasn't all been bad. That's from Shoe and Tree. They've got nearly 2 million subscribers, so they're quite popular on YouTube. They don't need my support. <laughs> but uh, that's a React, a YouTube React, fair use commentary. 
It's nice, isn't it? So you'd be good. Uh, I did say I might jump onto Twitch after this. I mean, I might not. I might I might go to the bathroom and see how I feel. There might be a bit of an after show on Twitch. We've done three hours on YouTube now. What dog is it? A puppis? I don't know. It's a, a little tiny puppis. Probably a toy poodle. Some description. A little puppis. But yeah, you'd be good. Uh, I'll be uploading some stuff on Battery Exhausted in the coming week. I'll be doing some more stuff on Super Chuffer. I'll be doing you know cauldron what i call cauldron earlier content cauldron streams on twitch playing games as well and we'll be cruising into another couple of weeks of fun so look out for that as easter we're doing an easter special uh whatever the whatever the uh internet conjures up i'll react to we'll see how it goes you'd be good and if you can't be good then you'll notice. But you won't. You'll be good like this little doggy. So. <laughs>